What's up guys, this is your favorite fanfic YouTuber, the fanfic majesty, and welcome to another amazing video. You can follow me on Patreon for exclusive stories. 2 Ag, Chapter 26 Melee, 2 days later, Xiluobu Village. At this time, Lieutenant Colonel Lipa and Kebi stood at the entrance of the village, waving goodbye to the two of them. I can only send you here. Take care, Bounty Hunter, Cool D Chi Kong. I hope to hear your name on the sea. Chi Kong is not very good at expressing gratitude, so. Bang. Chi Kong turned into Arida and gave him a wink. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Ripa, Kirby, and all the Marines, Arida loves you. Oh my. All Marines fell silent one after another. Xiluobu village at this time. With Luffy's physique, he can already be active and active, and he is causing mischief in the village with his good friend Usopp. Another good news is that housekeeper Meili miraculously survived because of her special race. Chi Kong. Zoro. Where have you been? You went to play without me. Luffy's expression was full of disgust, but he wasn't angry because the two of them left, just because they didn't take him with him. Hey, where's Nami? Luffy glanced around, but there was no sign of Nami. Zoro naturally leaned on the sofa and said seriously. Nami left. Ask the fishing guy for the specific reason. What? Luffy opened his mouth as if he couldn't believe it. What's going on? Chi Kong. As Chi Kong told it, Luffy knew the cause and effect. Luffy pouted his lips, thinking. With his IQ, he might not be able to understand it, but he immediately grasped the key points. As long as we defeat that guy named Eren and liberate Koko Nishi village, Nami can truly be free, right? When the time comes, she will become the navigator on our ship. That's right, Chi Kong. Chi Kong nodded. That's right, that's probably what it means. In short, just defeat Eren. Okay, if you say that, I'm a little excited. Luffy waved his hand and ordered. Let's go meet our new partners. And the target is Kokoyashi village. In a corner of Silla village, Usopp called the three members of the Usopp pirates. Maybe it feels sudden to you, but the great Captain Usopp is going to sea alone and become a real pirate. Ah, times three. Captain Usopp, you're lying again, aren't you? Captain, don't you love the village very much? Yes, Captain. What will happen to Miss Kaya if you leave? Hearing Kaya's name, Usopp fell into rare silence. After a moment, his eyes became firm. What is your dream? Run the tavern. Become a great carpenter. Become a novelist. The three little ones expressed their dreams without hesitation. Usopp raised his head, tears welling up in his eyes. My dream is to become the greatest warrior on the sea. To be a world-famous great pirate. So, we must all swear to fulfill our dreams. Yes, Captain. Times three. The three little ones had snot and tears all over the floor. Then, Usopp shouted to the sky. Usopp pirates. Officially disbanded. Coastside. Okay. So cool. A uh, caravel. With a skeleton structure and a triangular sail using the stern center steering method is more there. The bow is a sheep's head and the shape is very cute. Ahem. Everyone. You've been waiting for a long time. Meili coughed a few times and began to introduce. Although this ship is a bit older in style, it was designed by me personally, so it was named after me. It's called the Forward Meili. Luffy danced happily. Meili, Meili, our new partner, the Meili, the Golden Meili. As we talked, it became the Golden Merlion, so it was still called the Golden Merlion. Don't ask. The captain said so. Everyone, go up and have a look. Meili made a gesture of invitation. Okay. Luffy stretched out his arms and jumped up. Chi Kong disappeared from the spot with a teleportation technique. He couldn't wait to see Meili. This warm boat had brought him many beautiful memories when he was young. Board the Mary. This is a two-story cabin constructed with stairs to the deck. The deck house is a small warehouse. It is filled with tools and supplies of all sizes to meet the needs of navigation. Artillery shells and supplies are all here. Passing through the warehouse, the room on the other side near the back is the bathroom. Although the bathroom is small, it is well-equipped and thoughtfully hung with an anti-peeping film. Chi Kong went down the stairs and entered the bottom warehouse. There were two large rooms here, which were the male and female dormitories. He pushed one over at random. These rooms were like dormitory-like living structures, bunk beds and bunk beds. One room was more than enough for four or five people. It must be noisy to sleep here, right? It's also very cozy, but there's no privacy. Chi Kong returned to the deck along the stairs and walked towards the second floor room. Above this room is a small flower bed, where you can grow some vegetables and fruits to supplement vitamins. Chi Kong entered the room and looked at the familiar environment around him. This is usually where Luffy and the others chat and eat, and the kitchen and ship operating sticks are also in this room. After Chi Kong put the golden striped cat scale fish Xiao Wen into the fish tank, he felt satisfied for a while. He had imagined countless times that he would be here, eating and chatting with Luffy and the others. At this time the dream came true. After admiring everything about the melee, I left the room. At this time, Luffy was sitting on the goat's head at the bow of the boat, covering his straw hat that was blown by the sea breeze. This is my exclusive seat. The view is really nice. Ha ha. Butler melee smiled at a few people and said, I see that you don't have a shipwright on your ship. If you have anything that needs to be modified, you can tell me and I will ask the workers to modify it. After all, the ship you are exchanging is very big, which is a big loss for you. 
Shi Kang's eyes lit up and he pointed to the deck on the side of the ship. I need to make a small nest here. It doesn't need to be big, as long as I can fit it in. It will be easier to fish on rainy days. Meili smiled and said. This is simple and can be completed in one hour. Zoro thought for a moment. I want to customize a secret storage compartment for wine on the observation deck. Meili smiled awkwardly. That's no problem. Meili, I'm going to install a seat on Meli's head. Meili was sweating coldly. I refuse. It's impossible. Luffy instantly pulled his hips and turned into a ball of rubber. On the coast, on board the Golden Mary. Luffy, isn't he here yet? Chi Kong asked. Wait a minute. He will definitely come. Luffy replied affirmatively. Phew. Ouch. With a series of gasps and bumps, Usopp appeared at the beach carrying a big bag. Ouch. Luffy. Kai Kong and Zoro, are you going to see today too? What a coincidence. The great Captain Usopp is also going to see today. At this time, a soft voice came. Really? Usopp, are you still going to see? Why don't you even dare to say goodbye? Chapter 27 The Straw Hat Pirates are established. Secure Asset Portal, your trusted source for secure and informative digital assets. Register with your real phone number and get bonus just for registering. Try for free. This voice is, it's Kaya. There were beads of sweat on Usopp's forehead. The reason he didn't confess to Kaya was because he was worried that she wouldn't let him go to sea. Usopp turned around awkwardly, facing Kaya who was walking slowly, and he couldn't help but lower his head. I'm sorry, Kaya, I, Kaya put her finger on Usopp's mouth and smiled. It was instantly filled with dog food. No need to apologize, Usopp. Actually, I have a premonition that one day you will sail across this sea. I just hope you don't forget that there is someone waiting for you in Ziluobu village. After hearing this, Usopp was deeply moved and solemnly promised. Then when you come back next time, I will tell you a story that is a hundred times more exciting than bragging. Kaya's eyes were filled with tears, but she held back the tears and nodded with a smile. I'll always be here waiting for you, Usopp. After a loving embrace, Usopp waved goodbye. Then I'm leaving, Kaya. Then, Usopp announced loudly to the guys on the Mary who were eating dog food. I'm going to the sea, Luffy, Chi Kong, Zoro. See you on the sea. Chi Kong couldn't stand it anymore and teased, stop pretending. Come up quickly, I'm full. That's right, Usopp, aren't we partners? Luffy grinned, looking matter of fact. Usopp was stunned there. After a brief silence, he wiped the tears from the corners of his eyes and asked with a smile and expectation. Am I the captain? No. Times three. As the Mary departed. Goodbye, Usopp. The girl watching the ship go away from the shore gently stroked her hair with deep reluctance. On the melee at this time. Once there is a ship, as long as there is a pirate flag, the pirate group will be established. The painting is done. Pirate flag. Luffy, a painting genius, actually spent half a day making an ugly pirate flag. Chi Kong thought it would be okay for him to have S asterisk X with him. Zoro also twitched his mouth fiercely. Just kidding. The pirate flag is synonymous with terror. Bringing Luffy's flag can't hurt that person. Well, this power may not be worse than Albero, Zoro thought. This guy has no artistic talent at first glance. Usopp was extremely surprised, and it was rare for him to tell the truth. From a certain perspective, he is art. Chi Kong lamented on behalf of Nami. So Usopp took the brush. A long-nosed skeleton, a slingshot, and even stars were added. This star should represent a fire star or something. After Zoro finished reading, he said with sharp teeth, This is obviously your pirate flag. Do you think we are stupid? Rubber partner's fist. Dark crow use. Heck. Blade strike. Dumb. Dumb. Ouch. Ouch. Stop. Kai Kong. Stop Luffy. Finally, Usopp drew a, straw hat, pirate flag with his head full. It's hard to imagine this as a painting. Zoro complained. Then let's draw one on the sail and hang it up. Everyone. The straw hat pirates are established. Ha ha ha. Luffy flew a rubber rocket up to the mast and hung the pirate flag himself. At this moment, the legend begins here. The days of sailing are actually very boring. Most of the time, there is an endless sea, no wind, waves and no ships. The melee drifted aimlessly on the sea. Captain Luffy ate so hard that most of the food allocated to him had disappeared. Combatant and swordsman Zoro was on the observation deck, eating, sleeping, eating, and drinking in the middle. Combatant ninja Chi Kong turned into a fisherman in his den and ignored what was going on outside the window. If you really have something to do, just do it alone. Next to him were piles of fish bones, water plants and other debris, and he was cursing about, unscientific, and the like. The dark crow screamed dumbly on the side, sometimes flying into the sky to get some birds as prey. The ship turned into a bunch of traps again. The only normal sniper, Usopp, also broke through the defense at this moment. What are you talking about? None of you know anything about navigation. So how did you choose the direction these days? Usopp instantly turned into a horrified face. He felt like he was on a pirate ship. Huh, he seems to be a thief. We are going to pick up our navigator now. Luffy said matter-of-factly. Then how to go? Who makes the navigation direction? Usopp said angrily. Luffy pouted. I told you, Nami is a navigator. Of course she is. Usopp was speechless by Luffy's brain circuit. He lay on the ground and choked speechlessly. The deck echoed. I shouldn't have gotten on the ship. How could I trust you? 
Another day. It's so boring. When can we get to Nami's house? This question made everyone fall into silence. Yusop. There is a small reef over there. Let's have a shooting competition. Shooting. Ha ha. Luffy. You have found the right person. My shooting skills are perfect. Yusop put his hands on his hips and looked like he was awesome. Bang. And. Bang. After two deafening cannons, Usopp's extremely precise gunfire instantly blew the distant rocks to pieces. Hit. Usopp. You are so powerful. Of course. I'm a sharpshooter. Damn it. You will scare away my fish like this. B asterisk 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 D. A certain fisherman roared. In the midst of the commotion, the supremely fast rod in Chi Kang's hand suddenly began to tremble violently. He held the rod tightly, only to find a powerful force coming from the bottom of the water. Someone has taken the bait. Luffy, Usopp, come and see. Chi Kong immediately became excited. As Chi Kong exerts his strength, the mysterious existence under the fishing rod gradually emerges. The first thing that caught my eye was something strange like a black waterweed. When Usopp saw this scene, his legs could not help but tremble slightly, and he was terrified. It can't be a water ghost, right? Why does it look like hair? Then, a pale human face emerged from the water. Usopp was so frightened that he screamed. Ghost. There is a ghost. Luffy's eyes widened and he shouted in surprise, as this a mermaid? Chi Kong sneered. Idiot Luffy, how can there be mermaids in the East China Sea? They are almost fish men. As the object was pulled out of the water, the appearance of the two humanoid creatures became clearer. Joseph Johnny. Zoro looked at the two people hugging each other on the fishing pole and called out their names. This was his little crush when he was a bounty hunter, but he got lost and was never seen again. Luffy was obviously a little disappointed with this result and curled his lips and said. What? It turns out to be a human being. It's so boring. However, Chi Kong was not aware of everything happening around him at this moment. His attention was completely focused on the changes in his body. All he could think of was, damn it. Is this okay? Is it okay to fish for people? It turns out that after Chi Kong caught two people, his physique increased a lot. The amount of growth was several times that of the Golden Koi King. This wave has made me practice hard for the past month. Chapter 28 Sepsis, Ninja Tool Kanai. Secure Asset Portal. Your trusted source for secure and informative digital assets. Register with your real phone number and get bonus just for registering. Try for free. After an extremely chaotic fight. So, this person was bombed by Usopp. Luffy looked horrified. Johnny kept shaking his partner. Cheer up, Joseph. Oh my god, why is your life so miserable? At this time, Joseph suffered from scurvy due to long-term lack of vitamins. His life was hanging by a thread, with more air coming out and less air coming in. I'm sorry. Times two. Usopp and Luffy bowed at 90 degrees and apologized sincerely. Back off. Chi Kong is about to start showing off. Looking at the symptoms, Joseph is obviously suffering from scurvy, which is vitamin C deficiency. After saying that, he turned around and entered the warehouse and came out with a basket of fruits. Fresh fruits, vegetables, etc. are rich in vitamin C, which is the key to treating scurvy. This is caused by long-term unbalanced diet. Chi Kong explained helplessly. Give him these fruits to eat, and then, let him soak in seawater for a while, he should get better. After hearing this, Zoro couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief when he learned that his little brother was saved. Usopp was confused by the soaking method proposed by Chikan. Soak in water. What is the principle of this? Luffy shouted with admiration. Wow. Chi Kong, do you even understand this? Chi Kong glanced at Luffy and couldn't help but remind. For someone like you who knows how to eat meat, you might be the next one. When Luffy heard this, he took the fruit and stuffed it into his mouth. Then I'll eat some fruit. Idiot. Save Joseph first. Times two. Zoro and Usopp quickly grabbed the fruit basket and stuffed it into Joseph's mouth regardless of Joseph's struggle. Woo, woo, anti-fire, anti-theft, anti-luffy. Only what reaches your mouth is yours. Not long after, Joseph, who ate the fruit, recovered at a speed visible to the naked eye, performing a real-life version of, Return of Life. Chi Kong couldn't help but sigh, this is indeed the world of One Piece. It's now. Seeing the right opportunity, Chi Kong used the teleportation technique and came to Joseph's side in an instant, hugged him and jumped into the sea. Now for the experiment. Water-style water separation technique. While Luffy and Usopp were excitedly checking out the clone technique, Chi Kong had already jumped back to the deck, pulled the line, and threw the pole, all in one go. You are. Gululu. Who are you? Guru. Help. Help me. Johnny. Joseph kept begging for mercy. Under the. Care. Of the water body, he struggled for help and was sent into the water. Johnny encouraged with tears in his eyes. Joseph, just hold on, you will recover if you hold on. After a while, the grace of saving my life will never be forgotten. Johnny and Joseph bowed towards Chi Kong. Chi Kong was rubbing his chin at this time. The stuck bug really doesn't work. What's the problem? He waved his hand, telling them not to be polite. Luffy admired from the side. Chi Kong is so amazing. Is this the medical skill of a ninja? How do I know how to treat diseases? I told you it's a common sense nutritional issue. Chi Kong was speechless. He continued. During sailing, it is the job of the chef to ensure that the crew gets enough nutrition. Moreover, people's bodies will also have many problems while sailing, which requires a professional doctor. Then, 
Let's quickly find a great chef and doctor. Luffy said excitedly, but then he became depressed again. Let's find Nami first. Let's go to Kokoyashi village to defeat Eren. When the two bounty hunters Johnny and Joseph heard this, they couldn't help but be stunned and exclaimed in unison. Is that Eren with 20 million baileys? Johnny commanded. Go northwest. Great. Finally no more wandering. Chi Kang's water avatar and Usopp listened and adjusted their course while shedding tears of grievance. The Sword King, Joseph, the other member of the Sword Master duo, stood on the bow of the ship and looked into the distance with deep eyes. Are you really going to challenge that guy? It is said that besides Creek, he is the most powerful pirate in the East China Sea. However, this guy is not done pretending to be, deep, yet. This is my special seat. UB asterisk 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 D. Gudong. The sound of falling into the water came, and Joseph, who had just recovered from a serious illness, drowned again. While Chi Kong was fishing, he teased the green algae heads on the observation deck. Compared to you, a crazy swordsman, your two old colleagues look much more reliable than you. Dumb. Dumb. Who are you calling a road idiot? Zoro appeared angrily and pulled out his knife. Let's duel. Chi Kong. I've tolerated you for a long time. Boom. Chi Kong turned into Arida and had an iron rod in his hand. What's wrong with me telling the truth? Who stopped me from saving Nami? If Nami is still here, why do we need to wander on the sea? You have the guts to challenge me. Don't you have the guts to take action against the fish men? Zoro was in the wrong, and under Chi Kang's iron bar attack, he ran away with his head in his arms and retreated steadily. Luffy said excitedly, Awesome. Chi Kong in the fat anti state is so strong. As this transformation ninjutsu, even Zoro, big brother, is no match for you. Times three. But, ah, uh, Usopp, Joseph and Johnny were all shown off. Chi Kong smiled charmingly at the three of them. When I transform into Albira, please call me the most beautiful woman on the sea, Miss Alrida. Ah, uh, times four. Ha ha, Chi Kong, you are so funny. Luffy covered his stomach and laughed wildly. Please give me enough time. Zoro couldn't bear it anymore and struck with the back of his knife, successfully breaking Chi Kang's transformation effect. Everyone also breathed a sigh of relief. At this time, Usopp suddenly thought of something and took out a tool kit from his bag. Chi Kong, the ninja tool you asked me to build is ready. Come and try it. This thing seems very interesting. Usopp took out two carefully crafted kanai. Luffy was immediately attracted to it, grabbed one, and shouted excitedly. Awesome. Is this a ninja's weapon? Look at my deadly darts. With that said, Luffy threw the kanai into the sea, causing Chi Kong to go crazy. Idiot Luffy, this is my weapon, don't waste it. Chi Kong grabbed the kanai and kicked Luffy away. He took the kanai in his hand and examined it. The kanai in the hand is about 10 centimeters long and small in width. It has a sharp tip at one end and a horizontal handle or hole at the other end. This hole is convenient for holding or binding other items. Kanai is one of the most commonly used ninja tools by ninjas. It can not only be used for close combat and throwing attacks, but also has many functional functions. Chi Kong has never had a combat weapon at his disposal. Now that Usopp has joined in, he has finally created this thing. With Kanai in hand, his combat methods can become even more bizarre. Usopp's craftsmanship is very good, Chi Kong took the Kanai in his hand to show off. Where are the shurikens? Do you have them? Chi Kong asked. Usopp touched his head and explained. That kind of thing is easy. It's just that I make these weapons by hand. Although the quality you require is not high, the quantity is a bit too much. Chi Kong nodded to express understanding and sincerely praised. Usopp, you are really a reliable partner, thank you. Usopp smiled like an awesome class when he heard the compliment. Chi Kong also sealed the kanai into the seal on his right arm, feeling satisfied for a while. Luffy suddenly raised his hands. Ha ha. For Joseph, Johnny, and the new weapons Chi Kong got. Let's have a party. Chapter 29 shipped again, big guy. Hey, did Chi Kong catch any fish? Luffy shouted while using his rubber arms to sneak into Chi Kang's fishing den. Didn't you see that I'm still fishing? Because Luffy held banquets every three days, the food quickly ran out. At this time, Luffy was so hungry that he could only extend his sinful claws to Chi Kong. A whole Luffy. That's my food. Don't think I didn't notice it. Chi Kong made a seal with one hand. Water style water prison technique. Gulu Gulu. Oh, it's so thick. I'm so resistant. Luffy was struggling in the water prison and was about to roll his eyes and faint. Chi Kong finally released the water prison. At this moment, on the deck, the duo of Usopp and Swordmaster were lying around. Because they didn't know how scary Luffy was, they were already dizzy from hunger. Zoro and Chi Kong, who knew the inside story, each hit a small bag of food as a food reserve. At this moment, the fishing rod in Chi Kang's hand shook rapidly. Dumb, dumb, dumb. The dark crow landed back on Chi Kang's head and let out a loud cry. Does this mean I want to withdraw money? Chi Kong pulled it and felt the unusual weight coming from the water. The goods are in stock. Luffy, the food is here, the meat is here. Luffy, Usopp, and the Sword Master duo moved their ears and instantly turned into hungry ghosts from hell. What? Meat. Meat. Where is it? Times four. The four of them looked around. Eighteen catches will lead to a sinking of fishes. At this time, Usopp noticed the rough waves and said tremblingly. Chi. Chi Kong. Did you catch too many fish? The sea god is angry. 
Zoro didn't know when he had already grabbed the rope, stared at the sea with burning eyes, and said disdainfully. Idiot. I feel it. The thing biting the pole below is a sea animal. Upon hearing that it was a sea monster, Joseph broke out in a cold sweat, pulled out his machete, and said, Brother Zoro, you are responsible for cutting the meat. I am responsible for cutting it into pieces. Yes, yes, Brother Zoro, I know a little bit about barbecue, so leave it to me. Johnny began to set up the grill. The whole boat was waiting with anticipation for the prey Chi Kong had caught from the deep sea. Accompanied by the sound of, wow, ow, the two water bodies turned into water splashes and dissipated due to exhaustion of chakra. Chi Kang's veins popped out and he couldn't pull it anymore. Luffy, keep up the good work. Usopp, you all come here to help. Do you want to eat meat? Upon seeing this, everyone, except Zoro who was sharpening his knife, was so hungry that they all came to help. One, two, one, two. With everyone's efforts, the magic of the supreme large rod is also revealed. As long as the creature is caught by the fishing rod, it will eventually be unable to escape the fate of being caught. The sea was rough. When the accumulated force reaches a certain threshold, the creatures on the seabed are pulled out of the water unconsciously. The moment the giant beast was pulled out of the water, Chi Kong was trembling all over. Not because of fear, but because of excitement. At this moment, he felt an abnormally powerful improvement in quality. Is this what power feels like? Ha ha, ha ha ha. Chi Kong showed a smile like that of Uchiha's four heroes, and his appearance made everyone on the ship, including sea beasts, look over. This is not to blame Chi Kong, the quality improved this time is actually ten times that of catching Joseph and Johnny. This is because someone helped deduct a lot of physical fitness, which shows that this Mumu is very capable. At this moment, his Sharingan has turned into a three Magatama, although it is only in its early stages, and he has memorized a lot of awesome ninjutsu and taijutsu. According to Itachi's memory, if an ordinary Jonin seizes the opportunity, he will most likely be able to do it in seconds. This is the bug of Sharingan. The magical item caught with the special bait this time was worth his year of fishing practice. Chi Kong pressed the, fishing line retract, button, retracted the fishing line, looked at the sea beast, and licked his lips. This is a very large sea beast, 36 meters long and 16,000 kilograms, which is as big as half of nine tails. This is a manatee with the body of a cow. In the world of One Piece, manatees are really cows in the sea. Chi Kong has recognized the origin of this sea beast, the manatee Mumu, a member of the Dragon Pirates. Seeing it means that the fishman's territory is not far away. This Mumu is a giant manatee from the Grand Line. It has a keen sense of smell, its scales are like armor, and it has the monster level ability to destroy and destroy the entire village. At this time, Mumu was looking at everyone on the boat with a fierce look. He was very unhappy about being caught, but everyone looked like they were reincarnated by starving ghosts, and it instantly broke out in a cold sweat. Is Mumu not scary enough? No, everyone is hungry. Mu roared in an attempt to intimidate everyone, but the next second. Meat, 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 beef and fish, rubber bazooka. Luffy hit it directly on the chin with both palms, and Mumu flew directly from the sea into the sky. This time, the Mu in the air turned into a pitiful little girl with tears in her eyes, and even the style of the painting changed. Do you think you don't have to be eaten if you act cute? There must be people who disagree. Fresh beef, perfect for drinking. Zoro, stay alive, Chi Kong said quickly. HMPH, three sword style, ghost slayer. Zoro struck swiftly and slashed three times. Momo's blood spurted out, and three giant pieces of meat fell neatly on the melee. A piece of beef, a piece of fish, and a piece of shark's fin. Mumu rolled in pain in the sea, and the waves rolled in, and soon the sea was dyed red. Chi Kong jumped down, stepped on the water and approached at high speed, stretched out the fishing line with his right hand and tied Momo's head directly. His cold voice came. Hey, Mu, do you want to live? Mu, Manatee nodded wildly. Very good. Does Koko Nishimura know? Mumo nodded wildly. The three Magatama spin in Chi Kang's eyes, releasing the control of Genjutsu. Mu instinctively wants to resist, which is not good for sea beasts with advanced wisdom. Resist or die, Mu, Mumo roared unwillingly. Without freedom, he would rather die. The coercion was ineffective. My pupils were not strong enough. I couldn't control it and felt severe pain in my eyes. When the two were in a stalemate, mouth escape, I need you to obey my control for a while, take us to Coco West Village, and then set you free. I swear with these eyes. Mu, as Mumu gave up resistance, its eyes reflected Chi Kang's three Magatama Sharingan. This guy actually believed it. It's so damn innocent that I don't want to lie to you. Chi Kong got some of Mumu's blood and added his own blood to make a blood contract. These chakras were affordable, after all, Mumu was too cute. Psychic art, my setting. The process of establishing a contract requires the caster to permanently integrate part of his own chakra and blood into the curse seal to complete the contract. The amount of chakra integrated and the strength of the psychic beast if relevant, if you decide to terminate this blood contract in the future, the separated chakra will be returned to the caster. Mumu was put on a rope, and the manatee became the driver of the melee, pulling the straw hats to swim quickly to Coco West Village. Momo might have never dreamed that going out to sea to hunt would not only become the prey, but also serve as a mount. Go, Mumo. Chi Kong patted Mumo, and Mumo instantly jumped into the sea. Zoro had been observing Chi Kong, and when he saw Mumo's eyes, he felt dizzy. 
Controlled. Is it the same as Balumber's time? Your eyes are really scary. Luffy's eyes were shining with gold as he shouted excitedly. Will we have pets as a backup reserve in the future? These words made Chi Kang's mouth twitch when he explained. When it comes to food, Luffy is hungry again. I'm so dizzy. I'm so hungry. Have you eaten yet? Usopp bared his fangs on the side. Don't you see we are all busy? At this time, he was holding a slingshot to evenly feed the meat. Must kill Chili Star. Must kill Salt Star. Must kill Saw Star. Johnny on the side is responsible for cutting, and Joseph is responsible for grilling. At first everyone was a little restrained, but finally Luffy made a big fuss. Fire style great fireball technique. Chi Kong directly started a large fire to grill the food, because everyone was going crazy with hunger. After eating and drinking enough, everyone will be resurrected with full health. Dumb. Dumb. After eating, the dark crow dropped three more feces, and Chi Kong solemnly collected them. Hey, Chi Kong, I just wanted to tell you what happened to your hair. Zoro picked up the black hair on the ground and looked at Dark Crow curiously. Chapter 30 Nami returns home, Chi Kong becomes bald. Aaron Paradise. Nami, who had been back for a few days, finally summoned up the courage to open the door of Aaron Park. Ha ha ha, it turns out you are back. Nami, how are you? How was your harvest this time? Wearing a floral shirt, trousers, and a leather hat in the summer, he is a sawtooth shark man, Aaron. I have gained a lot, but suddenly I feel so empty. At this time, Nami was wearing very cool clothes, and the tattoo on her arm representing the Dragon Pirates showed her identity as a member of the Dragon Pirates. Ha ha ha, as expected of Nami, betrayal and deception are your specialty. Why are you so sentimental? Aaron grinned wildly, as soon as Nami came back, it meant that he had obtained a lot of Baileys. He raised his glass and said to all the Murlocs, Friends, Nami is back, and there's a banquet. After a while of commotion, Nami came to Aaron and asked, Does what you promised me still count? Aaron knew what Nami was talking about and laughed. Of course, for you, I will definitely keep my word. I will give you 100 million belly, Kokoyasi and your freedom. Amidst the laughter of the fish people, Nami turned and left. This place made her feel sick, and if it weren't for the village, she wouldn't want to stay for a second longer. After Nami left, Eren showed a cunning smile. He waved his hand and took a phone bug. The phone bug instantly turned into a mouse. Nami walked slowly on the path back home. When her eyes dropped, she couldn't help but shed a few more crystal tears. It's all coming to an end. She gently wiped the moisture from the corners of her eyes and stepped on the familiar land step by step, her thoughts drifting to the past years. When she was young, in order to free her hometown from the persecution of Aaron's group, she chose to join Aaron's group and become a surveyor. At the same time, 100 million belly must be accumulated to redeem the entire village. Even though she was misunderstood by the villagers, she always endured it silently without any regrets or complaints. In what was supposed to be a happy time, because of her talent for drawing, she began to be exploited by Aaron when she was only seven years old. While other children were still playing, she kept drawing sea charts at Aaron's paradise to make money. If you don't draw according to the regulations, you will inevitably be beaten and kicked. But as the only human among the fish men, who cares whether she has any injuries or how many tears she sheds. With a meager salary, eating food like swill, and only relying on a verbal hope, I licked my wounds alone and gritted my teeth to persevere. When she was about 10 years old, she relied on her extraordinary talent for navigation and began to swim on the sea. She was deceived and abducted by various terrifying pirates, and experienced countless lies and betrayals. Until he met Luffy and Chi Kong. Even though those guys call themselves pirates, that's what she hates the most. The result was nothing, nothing like a pirate at all. After a series of adventures together, Nami experienced real happiness and freedom for the first time, and the idea of staying in this team came to mind. It's not like she hasn't thought of borrowing their power to fight Eren. But in the end she denied that she had enough money. Although Luffy, Zoro and Chi Kong are very strong, Eren is a real monster and the fish man is not comparable to humans. She didn't want to see Luffy and the others get hurt, because she really regarded these people as partners. Coco West Village. Nami ignored the indifference and disgust of the villagers and smiled as she came to a simple tombstone located near the seaside of Kokoyasi Village, which is the resting place of her adoptive mother Belmer. I came to see you, Belamere. Nami placed a bouquet of flowers and sat down with her legs crossed. It's not that Nami doesn't want to come, I'm busy making money. Don't worry, Belmere, I have saved enough money to buy the village, and even got a startup capital to rebuild the village through those, well, those friends who are always teased by me. However, I will probably go to sea with them. They say I am working to pay off debts, but in fact it is more like pursuing a new life. Nami said with a fake smile. Let me tell you, Belmere, they are really interesting. They don't dislike me at all. They insist on dragging me to become a navigator. I cheated them out of all their dividends every time. When it comes to Luffy, Zoro and Chi Kong, Nami has endless topics to talk about. Luffy is a crazy idiot. He shouts every day that he wants to be One Piece, but in the end he doesn't even have a pirate flag or a pirate ship. Zoro is a three-sword swordsman. The third sword is bitten in his mouth. Isn't it funny? Although he is serious sometimes, he is a road fool. Ha ha ha. And Chi Kong. This guy is the most annoying. He looked scary to death at the beginning, and he was also very serious. In the end, I found out that he was a ninja who was obsessed with fishing. He would catch fish without caring about it. 
He would fly every day, and he would never fly. Later, I found out that the bait he used was actually feces. He is really a big pervert, and he is even more perverted. I like to turn into an ugly fat woman, shouting about beauty and resounding in the sky. I don't know why, but when it comes to Chi Kong, Nami has a lot of flaws. Just when Nami was telling Chi Kong. On the other side, bored the melee. After hearing Zoro's words, Chi Kong looked at the black hair scattered on the ground in shock. An unprecedented panic appeared, and he nervously groped the top of his head. Under this touch, the hair that was originally as thick as a forest actually fell down like bleak autumn leaves. Dark Crow. Did you do it? Dumb. Dumb. The Dark Crow called twice disdainfully, spread its wings and flew into the air, and the airflow driven by the wings swept away the black hair. Slippery. Bald. Feeling cool. How can it be? Chi Kong turned into a frightened face. This dramatic scene instantly caught the attention of everyone around him. Luffy tried hard to suppress his laughter, covering his mouth with his hand, fearing that laughter would burst out along with the chewed food, and his facial muscles were distorted from the effort of endurance. PFF. Chi Kong. Ha ha ha. What's wrong with you? I'm laughing so hard. In the end, Usopp couldn't hold it back anymore, and the beef in his mouth spurted out, followed by his belly laughing. Brother Chi Kong, he has become bald. Times two. Joseph and Johnny yelled at the same time, looking incredulous. Water style water mirror technique. Chi Kong summoned a water mirror and looked at himself in the mirror with the same disbelief. Am I bald? Why is this happening? Chi Kong thought of a certain bald man in a cape, which was said to be caused by the heaven system. I've become stronger, and I've also become bald. Could it be that the price of becoming stronger is my hair? He opened his crotch, grabbed a handful, and breathed a sigh of relief. Baby elephant's hairstyle is still very rich. Chapter 31 The troops are divided into two groups. Joseph, what do you think of fishing? Johnny, I think it's easier to use a fishing net. Joseph rubbed his chin thoughtfully. If we don't work as bounty hunters, we can form a team to go fishing. I'll catch the fish and you weave the net. That seems good. Upon hearing this, Johnny also rubbed his chin. The duo of Sword King and Sword Saint started to raise flags, which made Chi Kong a little panicked. Why not just kill a fish? Is this the way to use it? Hey, a fisherman will never be an air force. Chi Kong lifted the fishing rod, and a pink shark was pulled onto the boat with water drops. Luffy and Usopp danced on the left and right. It's a shark. Usopp. It's actually a shark. Pink shark. It's actually a pink shark. Chi Kong, your luck today is really great. This is the normal way to open the spacecraft. Chi Kong touched his bright bald head and said proudly, the bald head is more critical. Since he was already bald, Chi Kong didn't have anything to worry about. He just wanted to fish wildly and figure out a solution later. No matter how bald you can go, handsomeness is only one aspect, and strength is the most important. Just like Auntie, she's not much better looking than Alita, but she's also loved by countless men. When Chi Kong was sighing, Momo made a cow noise, and everyone looked forward. An island appears on the horizon. This should be the Zumaida Islands, on which Coco West Village is located. As a sea monster, Mumu can move faster than most ships. How long has it been? The destination has been reached. As the distance got closer, Zoro saw the familiar ship first. That's right. That's the escape ship of the Black Cat Pirates. Chi Kong also saw it. Then this should be the fishermen's territory, right? Usopp adjusted his goggles and saw several fishmen docked at the dock. Their tall and mighty appearance made his feet tremble. I have a disease that will kill me when I see a fish man. I applied to rest on the boat. Usopp's words earned the contempt of a boatload of people. Luffy shouted. Okay, kids, let's make a scene. Let Nami know we're coming. After saying that, Luffy stretched his arms, ejected, and flew directly to the port. Zoro jumped onto Mumu's head and looked at Chi Kong. Now that the captain has spoken, let's go, Chi Kong. Chi Kong chuckled and began to form seals. As the chakra peels off, a shadow clone appears. Dark Crow spread its wings and flew over the clone's head. Chi Kong jumped up and chased Luffy on Mumu and Zoro. Chi Kang's clone said, let's find a hidden place to park the boat first. My body will know if anything happens. It's incredible. Times three. Aaron Park. Pizarro. The music just now was really good. Let's rock it. A fishman said to a sunfish fishman holding a musical hammer. The fishman named Pissarro pointed at Luffy in the air and stammered. Did you see that thing? Did you see it, Kanashino? There is something approaching in the sky. Kanashino followed his gaze and saw that neither of them had very good eyesight. But soon, they clearly saw what this was. Because the face was getting closer and closer, a young man with a sunny smile covered his head with a straw hat and looked at them with a naive expression. It's an intruder. Boom. Kaneshino was buried in the ground by Luffy's impact, his eyes turned white, and he fainted. Ah, it was so dangerous. Landed safely. Pissarro on the side opened his eyes wide. He waved his maracas and asked. Who are you? How dare you come to Aaron Park to cause trouble? Don't you know this is the fishman's territory? Luffy straightened his hat. He was familiar with this problem. I am Monkey D. Luffy, a man who wants to become One Piece. I come to see my navigator, Nami. Pissarro was stunned. Where did you come from, crazy? Nami is a member of our Dragon Pirates. Why did she become your navigator? Luffy was stunned for a moment, then pouted and said. I don't care. 
Chi Kong said that if I defeat you, Nami will be my navigator. It was the first time that Pissarro saw such a shameless human being. It wanted to shake the maracas and make a strange and harsh sound. This sound is so unpleasant. Luffy complained, covering his ears. Shut up. I'm the musician of the Dragon Pirates. You brainless idiot. My companions will tear you apart in a moment. Hey, what's going on, Pissarro? Everyone is having a banquet. Shioyaki, the banquet director of the Salmon Fishman, was the first one to appear. He soon saw Luffy, and the fainted Kaneshino next to Luffy. Someone invaded Aaron Park. How dare he, as this silly boy an intruder? Inferior humans. They don't look very good either. Come here for Nami. Nami won't lie to him, right? Ha ha ha. Nami is our cash machine, how can we hand it over to you? Stupid human being. As more and more fishmen gathered, the fishmen were outnumbered and pointed at Luffy. Luffy suddenly raised his hands and shouted. What a mouthful. Where is Nami? Where is Aaron? I'm going to beat him away. Luffy's voice resounded through the sky, erupting with a strong momentum that silenced all the fishmen. Pissero, who was the nearest, was so frightened that he dropped his musical hammer. God, crazy, you are worthy of our boss to take action. Come on, brothers. The fishman called Yanxiao roared and rushed forward. Luffy straightened his hat, his face looking terrifyingly gloomy. I demolished this place. He should appear, right? Rubber whip. No one can bully my navigator. Port. The octopus man Shaoba and the carp man Shaowu carried the fish buckets and made a squeaking sound. Don't get me wrong. They are not kissing. They are calling Moo. Aaron took a group of cadres to Kesha town next to Kokoyasi village, because there was an attempt to start a resistance and Mumu was needed to accompany him to establish his power. Why do I see someone on Mumu's head? Octopus Shaoba looked a little confused. Little bugs, there really are two humans. Xiao Wu's eyes were very sharp. At the same time, he discovered something strange. No, little bugs, Mumu is actually tied up with a rain. What? Xiao Wu, come with me and have a look. Mumu usually has the best relationship with Xiao Ba, but now that he told him that Momo was enslaved by humans, Xiao Ba instantly became angry. The two of them jumped into the water and swam towards Mumu. The other side. Hey, fisherman, we seem to have been discovered. Zoro reminded with three knives in hand. When Chi Kong heard this, the three Magatama Sharingans spun around. You don't need to take action. Hurry up, Luchi Swordsman. This is the sea, the home ground of the fishmen. Zoro would be in trouble if he fell into the water, and he didn't want to take the risk. After hearing this, Zoro took back the knife. Moo. Momo received the order. Opened his bloody mouth and suddenly accelerated. Human, what did you do to Moo Moo? Shaoba's voice came from the front. He noticed that Momo had entered the attack mode and asked aloud. Is this the fish man? He looks really disgusting. The fishy smell is so strong. Chi Kong complained. At the same time, he also recognized who this octopus was, Octopus Hachi, one of the three leaders of the Dragon Pirates. It's me, Mu, we are Xiaoba and Xiao Wu. Xiao Ba called, and Xiao Wu, who was watching carefully, immediately reminded. Little bugs, run, Mu Mu's eyes are wrong. Xiao Ba looked at Mo Mo's eyes. They were blood red eyes with three Magatama. Its eyes couldn't be like this. These two humans did it. Devil fruit powers, Mu. Mu Mo was like pushing a volleyball. With a push, the two fish vomited blood and turned into a parabola and disappeared into the sky. Dot dot dot. Chapter 32 Crying Nami. Secure Asset Portal. Your trusted source for secure and informative digital assets. Register with your real phone number and get bonus just for registering. Try for free. After talking, Nami returned to the Orange Grove in a happy mood. As soon as I approached, I found that there were many Marines and villagers watching the excitement. She panicked. She stepped forward quickly. What are you Marines doing here? At this time, an officer with a long pointed mouth and monkey cheeks who looked like a mouse walked out of the crowd. Jurjurji, -jur I am Colonel Mouse from the Marine 16 branch. You are the criminal Nami, right? It is not difficult to tell from Colonel Mouse's tone that he seems to know Nami. Criminal, haha, since you are a colonel, you should understand that I am a cadre of the Dragon Pirates. If you attack me, Aaron will not let you go. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Colonel Mouse continued to laugh obscenely. I won't do anything to you, you are a thief. I received a tip that you are a thief. Nami is angry. What did you say? You don't care about pirates. Do you care about these sneaky behaviors? Colonel Mouse was not annoyed by Nami's angry rebuke. Jurjurji, I heard that you stole a lot of treasures from pirates. These are stolen goods and should be kept by Marine. Nami looked at the crowd around her. Nami's first reaction was that these villagers who were watching the theater had reported it. They had always been disgusted with her. She said nonchalantly. You, fart. I didn't steal it. Haha, <laughs> it's not up to you. Search for me. Following the mouse's command, Marine began to pour into the orange orchard. Let's see who dares. At this time, a blue-haired girl stopped in front of a group of Marines with a wooden stick. Don't hinder Marine from handling the case. Two muscular Marines were approaching from the left and right. How could an ordinary girl stop Marine? The two Marines faced each other and knocked the girl down directly. Nogigo. Nami helped her half-sister up, her eyes gnawing at everyone. You don't care about Eren destroying the town, you don't care about killing people wantonly. You don't care about everyone on this island becoming slaves. But you want to cause trouble for me. Is this what you Marines should do? 
Nami's voice was getting louder and louder, and in the end she was even more hysterical. Jerjer G, a thief is a thief, and the facts are the facts. You, you guys, Nami was furious. At this time, the crowd parted, and a policeman wearing a windmill stood out. This is the money Nami used to buy our village, you can't touch it. These words made Nami, who was originally sulky, stunned and stared blankly. Mr. Aegean, you, how do you know? The policeman named Aegean said in a deep voice, sorry Nami. We have always known about the hardships you endured outside, but everyone pretended not to know and pretended to exclude you. We just don't want you to end up like you when you want to escape from here one day. Burden. The crowd watching around him all had sullen faces, holding swords, guns and sticks in their hands, as if they would take action as long as Jian gave the order. Even if the opponent is Marine, Nami has sacrificed so much for the village, and now it's their turn to protect Nami. Nami covered her mouth and couldn't believe it. It turned out that everyone had been pretending. They all know it. At this time, Jian turned around and looked at the sanctimonious Colonel Marine, Mouse. Do you know how much Nami suffered for this money? Do you think you are qualified to take this money? Master Marine. Colonel Mouse was unmoved. The guy who could collude with Aaron and cooperate with him was not a good bird in his own right. He doesn't have that idle baggage at all. The mouse squinted his eyes, stretched out his ears and mocked at the indignant crowd around him. What do you mean, Jurjurji? Do you mean that the whole village is actually filled with thieves? Do you want to be shot to death? The mouse waved his hand, and all the accompanying marines raised their muskets to threaten. At this time, report to Colonel Rath, the house was searched. No stolen money was found. The mouse frowned and ordered, if you don't find it in the house, then go to the fields. With a sum as big as 100 million belly, you will always find it. 100 million baileys, why 100 million? Nami was stunned, she had more money than that, why would he say 100 million? Could it be? In an instant, her mind became clear and she understood the cause and effect. Aaron asked you to come. Right, Nami asked immediately. A flash of panic flashed in Mouse's eyes, and he said coldly, I don't understand what you are saying. I just received a report from an informant. 100 million belly is just the amount I guessed. A hole, a hole, you bastards. Nami burst into tears and raised the stick forward, wanting to fight these disgusting guys. Nami, no. Nuo Chigao hugged Nami regardless of her injuries. Ajian turned the windmill above his head and said resolutely, calling all villagers to take up arms. The mouse also waved his hand, and all the soldiers in the back row raised their muskets to threaten. Hey, I advise you to be wiser. All marines prepare to shoot. Jurjurjurji. Nami's eyes narrowed and she saw the villagers looking at death. She broke away from Nokigao's arms and rushed towards Aegean, blocking everyone with her body. Enough. Here's the money for you. Under the third orange tree in the orange grove. When the mouse heard this, he touched his beard, waved his hand, and led a group of marines towards the orange grove. A group of villagers holding farm tools were not a threat to him, but instead became a tool to threaten Nami. Uncle Aegean, go back. This money has nothing to do with you. It's not used to buy a village. Nami still wanted to hide it. Nami, don't you understand? Aaron is just using you. How long will you continue to be stupid? Jian touched Nami's head, the girl he watched grow up. It's time to end things with Aaron. You don't have to be so tired Nami. Live for yourself from now on. Ah Jian turned the windmill on his head and said firmly. He picked up his weapon and walked towards Aaron Paradise surrounded by villagers with his family. What are you going to do? Nami bit her lip and burst into tears. Are they going to find Aaron? Are they all going to die? With these weapons, even the marines can't be defeated. How can they defeat the terrifying fishmen? There is a way. I'll find my partners. They can do it. Please. Trust me. Don't do anything stupid. Nami was hysterical. But none of the villagers looked at him. Even Nokigao picked up a wooden stick and passed by indifferently. With the aura of looking forward to death. Damn it. Damn it. Nami has never hated Arlong so much. She couldn't help but reach out to the dragon pirate's tattoo on her arm. Just like that, the logo he hated was cut off in a bloody way. Look, I'm no longer Eren's cadre. Look, Nami smiled and showed off his arms. This time it's true, I really won't compromise anymore. Nami behaves like a clown, working hard but being ignored. Finally, she collapsed to the ground helplessly. Someone can stop them. Anyone can do it, please. Luffy. Chicken. Zoro. Nami shouted hysterically, and this time she really regretted it. However, her voice quickly responded. I told you a long time ago. When you left without saying goodbye, Zoro was very angry and said he was going to kill you. Chi Kang's voice sounded in Nami's ears. Chapter 33 The Most Beautiful Woman on the Sea. This voice is not an illusion. Right. Nami slowly moved his gaze to the right. At some point, a handsome, bald man appeared here. Nami was stunned for a moment. Is this true or false? Chi Kong is Chi Kong, and the clothes are also the jacket she bought, but why is he bald? Hallucination. At this time, the mouse walked out of the orange grove with a wild laugh. It's actually more than 100 million baileys. Ha ha ha. Colonel Mouse counted the banknotes, and many of them had dried blood stains on them. These blood stains seemed to tell that they were hard-earned. Hearing this voice, Chi Kang's lips curled up into a sneer. Fortunately, I was smart and knew that this might happen. It seems that we arrived in time. 
Shi Kong raised his right hand and made a shooting gesture. All the marines were still immersed in the joy of discovering Bailey and didn't pay attention to their surroundings at all. Must kill Flame Star. Usopp's voice came from a commanding height somewhere, and along with a roar, a blazing fireball streaked across the sky like a meteor, heading straight towards the mouse colonel. Boom. As expected of Usopp, the fireball accurately hit the mouse colonel's head, instantly sending up thick smoke from his beard and hair, but Bailey in his hand was not injured at all. Colonel Mouse's eyes turned white and he fell to the ground, and the treasure box fell unconsciously. Enemy attack. Protect the colonel. The surrounding marines immediately gathered around Colonel Mouse and looked around cautiously. Bang. At this moment, the clone Chi Kong turned into Arida. He waved the big stick in his hand. It's time for you to see the horror of the sea. Before Albio started to show off, Nami on the side came back to her senses. Chi Kong. It's really you. This is not an illusion. Nami yelled, and regardless of Arida's fat body, she rushed forward and hugged Chi Kong tightly. This movement made Arida's fat body tremble. Feeling the physical touch, Nami knew everything was real. Help me. Chi Kong. Help me. Stop Nokigao and the others. They will die. Nami's incoherent words were filled with anxiety, and tears came to her eyes. Chi Kong was a little at a loss and didn't know whether to take advantage of it. Hey, Nami. Don't worry. Someone is going to deal with Fishman Street. Don't damage my body. Chi Kong touched his bald head awkwardly and said. When I invited you, didn't I promise to help you solve the problem? You had to run away. This caused Zoro and I to have a fight. After being criticized by Chi Kong, Nami cried loudly like a child. I know I was wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Woo woo woo. Chi Kong placed the dark crow on Nami's head, covering her face. Then he looked around nervously. Conscience of heaven and earth, I am not the one who made you cry. He immediately changed his target, pointed his stick at Marine, and shouted, Damn it. You bastards. You actually made Nami cry. Shoot. An officer ordered coldly. Chi Kong formed a seal and said to the rear, Joseph, Johnny, please take Nami away. Yes. Brother Chi Kong. Times two. The Sword King Sword Master instantly appeared from the river, holding Nami on the left and right, and ran away. Chi Kong, you have to be careful. Nami didn't know that Chi Kong was an emotionless clone and was still worried. Water-style water barrier. Chi Kong pulled the water of the nearby river and instantly created a water wall to cover the three people's departure. His best ninjutsu is fire style. He didn't expect to use water style here every day. There is just too much water here. Puff. All the bullets were blocked by Chi Kang's water wall. This scene made Marine confused. What's going on? How can this fat woman control water? Could he be a fish man? Isn't he one of Aaron's men? Chi Kong was already used to the Marines, surprised expressions. The guy who looked like an officer quickly stabilized his morale. Don't be chaotic. Protect the colonel. There is only one opponent. Chi Kong curled his lips. Want to sign up for a group tour? I like it. He formed seals in his hands at high speed, teleported his body to the center of the crowd, and activated the ninjutsu he had just learned. Genjutsu Dark Walking Jutsu. This technique continuously consumes the absolute darkness created by Chakra. Except for teammates who can see, everyone else is blind. It was originally the ninjutsu used by the second generation project to restrain the Uchiha clan, and Itachi happened to have studied it. With Chi Kong as the center, darkness enveloped everyone. Suddenly, Marine was all artificially blind. Chi Kong picked up the treasure box and threw it directly towards a house. Usopp. Retreat first. Give it back to Nami. Guaranteed to complete the mission. With Usopp leaving, Chi Kong can also let go. What's going on? Why is it so dark? Can this fat woman still control the sky? Idiot. It's not that it's dark, it's that we're blind. Okay. I was shocked, it turned out that I was blind. It's good, I don't have to see that ugly woman anymore. Just as Marine was making noise, a voice came. Tell me, who is the most beautiful woman in this sea? The Marines had no idea how terrifying this nightmarish sound was. The voice is here. Let me die for you ugly woman. A sailor was smarter and knew how to attack with sound. Boom. His brain was shattered, and the brainless marine fell to the ground and twitched. Chi Kong directly killed him. These marines were not worthy of the name of soldiers at all, and they only made him feel sick. He wiped the warmth from his face and patted a marine on the head with an iron rod. Tell me, who is the most beautiful woman in this sea? This marine was a little stupid and stammered. I. I don't know. Wrong answer. Boom. Chi Kong knocked the marine to death with one blow, and warm blood splashed all over the surrounding marines. Chi Kong patted another sailor on the head. You say. This marine had some brains and immediately said, it's you, distinguished lady. Boom. Broken brain. Chi Kong explained with a ferocious look, what I want is a name. Not a lady. Doesn't the sea resound with my name Alita? Under Chi Kang's torture, marine suffered terribly. Tell me, who is the most beautiful woman in this sea? It's, it's you, Arida. Marine was trembling all over and had no courage to resist. Boom. Marine died. You want to talk about Miss Arida, idiot. Tell me, who is the most beautiful woman on the sea? It's, it's you, Miss Arida. Boom. Another Marine. No, you're missing something beautiful. At this time, a wise guy spoke up, and the officer just now shouted with a chill down his spine. Don't be stupid. This female pirate has no intention of letting us go. 
Don't believe her. There is still a chance of survival if you fight to the death. Shi Kong laughed, came to him, and patted his head with a big stick. Tell me, who is the most beautiful woman on the sea? No answer. My head is blooming. The officer suddenly broke out in cold sweat. He said without thinking. Yes, it's you, the beautiful Miss Arida. He held up the weapon and trembled all over. Although he knew he was teasing himself, he still became timid when facing death. Congratulations, you got it. Boom. UB asterisk 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 D, E H. The officer covered his head in surprise and found that he was not dead. At this time, Chi Kang's demonic voice came. You don't have to die, so your colonel died for you. Devil. Devil. The veteran's face was splashed with the blood of Colonel Rat, and his mentality collapsed. He dropped his weapon and ran in one direction without looking back. After running far away, he suddenly became enlightened. The sun shines into his eyes, the sky is clear. The light is coming. For the first time, he felt that the sun was so beautiful. He looked in the direction of the gathered marines. A group of people were slashing into the air, and many marines died in their own hands. The deterrent effect given by this terrifying woman is too great. Hey, where is the fat woman? Chapter 34. Cutting out the roots. Secure Asset Portal. Your trusted source for secure and informative digital assets. Register with your real phone number and get bonus just for registering. Try for free. At this time, Chi Kong was stepping on the river and began to form seals with his hands. As Chi Kong formed the seal, the river water began to compress an agglomerate, and the water blocks rotated, forming three waterspouts. Water style triple water bullet. The waterspouts rotated at high speed, echoing each other, spiraling out from bottom to top, heading towards marine. As soon as they came into contact with this rapidly rotating waterspout, the chaotic marines twisted as if they had been cut ruthlessly by a drill. The waterspout continued unabated, sweeping many marines high into the sky, and finally turned into a rain of blood mixed with blood and river water, falling to the ground. This ninjutsu can use the nearby water flow. The chakra consumption is very small. If used properly, it is very functional. After using water style to wash the floor, Chi Kong nodded with satisfaction as he watched the blood flowing to the rivers and lakes. He didn't want to dirty the streets near Nami's house. Then Chi Kong pointed at the stunned officer. Have you finished reading? Come over here. Just after watching the bloody scene, the officer no longer had the courage to resist and said flatteringly. Beautiful Miss Arida, what? What are your orders? Chi Kong raised his big stick and pointed at his camera. Take a picture of me with your camera, officer. The reason why Chi Kong didn't kill this officer was that he found a camera in this guy's pocket. In order to help Arida get out of her inferiority complex, he wanted to resound the name to the world together with her beauty. So, Chi Kong made a pose. Remember, I am the most beautiful lady on the sea, Arida. The officer nodded, suppressing nausea. It's my honor to take photos of Miss Arida. The officer took pictures randomly, then put down the camera and looked at Chi Kong warily. It is impossible to run away. I can only continue to kneel and lick. That's right. Take your companions away. I don't want to see any impurities around this orange grove. Can you do that? The officer nodded wildly. Get out. Thank you. Thank you Miss Arida. Beautiful. Chi Kong supervised for a while. The officer commanded several half-dead sailors, and they were busy for a while. The efficiency is pretty good. Boom. The shadow clone chakra is exhausted, becomes difficult to maintain, and eventually disappears. The other side, Chi Kang's true form, Zoro, has already gathered with Luffy, and they are on their way to Kesha Town. The entire Aran Park has been demolished by Luffy, but except for the fishman lying on the ground, Nami and Aran didn't show up at all. After Chi Kong and Zoro arrived, they saw that Luffy was still destroying, with black streaks all over his head. Obviously you are not at home. Based on the information from Aran's younger brothers, he learned that Aran and his cadres were dealing with the riot in Kesha Town. Therefore, a group of people began to rush towards Kesha Town. Damn it, Aaron, where are you? I'm going to beat you away. Also, Nami, where are you? I'm Luffy. The countryside and fields thought of Luffy's roar, causing birds to fly in the forest. When the residents who farmed the land heard Aaron's name, they were so frightened that they hid in the fields and did not dare to show their heads. They looked at the three people in horror. Chi Kong and Zoro followed Luffy, looking at Luffy having fun with disgust. They all cursed in their hearts. Luffy, idiot. At this time, Chi Kong suddenly stopped because he received information feedback from his clone. After the shadow clone is dissipated, the clone's memory and fatigue will be fed back to the main body. The original purpose of inventing this ninjutsu was to detect intelligence. Seeing Chi Kong stop, Zoro turned around and asked. What's wrong? Fishing man. You're not lost, are you? After Zoro's shameless words, Chi Kong slowly spoke. Usopp found Nami. There was an accident, but I solved it. Nami was crying very sadly. After listening to this, Zoro probably guessed some endings. He turned around with squinting eyes and said in a cold voice, just kill those disgusting guys. When Luffy heard this, he jumped up and down anxiously. You actually made Nami cry. Damn it, Chi Kong. Hasn't Kesha Town arrived yet? Chi Kong did not expect that Kesha Town was so far away. He would have let Mumu take him there, but it was a pity that Chi Kong had already released it. But the problem is not big. Now we only need to deal with Eren and the Kadris. As for Eren Park where the villagers went, there should be no survivors, right? 
Luffy and Zoro just defeated them, but after the two left, Chi Kong directly transformed into a water clone to clean up the mess. It was God's business to forgive them. He couldn't bear to force Nami to forgive. To cut the grass, we must remove the roots. No matter who was right or wrong in the relationship between fish and humans. With Nami's hometown turned into this, Chi Kong would feel unhappy if he didn't die. Chi Kong jumped onto the tree in two steps and opened Sharingan to look into the distance. Did you see that town to the east? That's Kesha town. Chi Kong pointed to the smoke on the horizon, where a riot was taking place. Let Luffy know the location, and this guy will immediately do something, such as. At this time, Luffy leaned on the branch and turned into a rubber slingshot. That's the right direction, I can't bear it anymore. I want to beat up Eren. A hole, the opponent is not just Eren. Don't cause trouble, Chi Kong said angrily. Unfortunately, with a, whoosh, Luffy turned into a gust of wind and disappeared. Chi Kong jumped down, and just as he was about to ask Zoro to march urgently, his head was suddenly covered with black lines. Hey, Liu Kai swordsman, why are you walking into the fields? Can a road go astray? Near Eren Park. Eren, come out. Kokoyashi Village, rebelled today. Ten years. We have endured ten years. How many decades are there in life? No, everyone. Don't go and die. Nami held up the dark crow and kept trying to stop the villagers. She vowed. My friends are fighting inside. Please trust me this time. Everyone still turned a deaf ear to Nami's words. They want to die. Killing one murloc is enough. Killing two makes a huge profit. At this time, two silly people appeared, one on the left and one on the right. I am Sword Master Joseph. I'm Johnny the Sword King. We can testify. Our big brother is fighting inside. You just need to go back and wait. It's no problem leaving this place to the straw hats. However, the eerie and quiet Aaron Park made their credibility basically zero. As the team continued to approach Aaron Park, the long team finally stopped. The three of them thought their persuasion had an effect. What the three of them didn't notice was that the villagers looked stunned and pointed at the buildings in Aaron Park. At this time, Nokigao came out, grabbed Nami, and pointed to the park. Nami, look here, is this. A long park. Boom. At this moment, the gate of Aaron Park suddenly fell down. The villagers outside the gate were shocked beyond measure when they saw the messy scene in Aaron Park. Collapsed buildings, broken surfaces, and blood-stained battlefields all point to an earth-shattering fierce battle. At this time, the villagers had no idea that there were actually humans who could compete with the fishmen. This kind of destructive power was simply not like creatures from the same world as them. Dumb. Dumb. The dark crow seemed to have discovered something, fluttering its wings and flying high. Nami turned around and, like the villagers, covered her mouth in shock. She discovered that the only living thing inside was actually a bald head. At this time, he whistled and brought up a fainted fishman. He looked left and right and found that he was still breathing. He raised the knife and wiped his neck. This clean look looked like he had been killing fish at Carrefour for many years. Why not RT Mart? Because the competition there is too fierce. She, Chi Kong, is that you? When he heard someone calling him, Chi Kong looked back. Then a scared face. Why are you here? Bang. Chi Kong turned into Arida. He threw away the pirate scimitar in his hand and hurriedly explained. Ah, you got the wrong person. I'm Albero. I'm a passerby. If teammates see this bloody scene, it will affect the relationship between both parties. Dumb. Dumb. The dark crow landed on his head without any shame. The atmosphere suddenly became awkward. Ah, it's quite hot today. I put on makeup. Chi Kong suddenly became distorted. Because he was too far away from his body, he turned into a pool of water and disappeared. Chapter 35 The Dragon Pirates Secure Asset Portal, your trusted source for secure and informative digital assets. Register with your real phone number and get bonus just for registering. Try for free. Asterisk backquote D. How can the weather be so hot that it can melt people? Do you think you are ice cream? Nami, who had been depressed just now, suddenly had black lines on her face, and shouted Obasan in the direction where Chi Kong disappeared. Both knew Ochigao and Ajian saw this scene, and both showed knowing smiles. Nami's partner is so interesting, they should have a good relationship. The villagers began to discuss. Did that person turn into water just now? Was he killing fishmen just now? Nami didn't lie to us. Did Nami's friends really do this? Every villager looked at Nami, as if waiting for her explanation. At this time, Nami regained her sunshine. She wiped away her tears and nodded vigorously. They are very strong. I didn't expect them to come here to find me. I should have believed them a long time ago. Now they are here in a hurry. I want to fight with them. Nami took out a stick and pressed it on a fish man. Kanashino, you're not dead. The fish man named Kanashino was breathing heavily. Nami, is it you? You actually ordered people to capture Eren's paradise. Boom. He responded with a hard blow from Nami. Friends have arrived, and at this moment Nami is no longer cowardly. She continued to ask. Tell me. Where did Eren and the others go? Kanashino seemed to be on the verge of passing out. Ah, Eren went to Kesha town. So many of our compatriots died. Do you know what Eren will do to you when he comes back? So what? I rebelled. Knowing Eren's position, Nami knocked down the stick one after another, as if to continue Chi Kang's behavior just now. 
Bang. Bang. Nami cried while knocking. A hole. A hole. You damn fishmen. It's because of you that Belmir. Go to hell. Go to hell. At this time, Nuo Chigao also bit his mouth and rushed forward. Belmir left is because of you. I hate you. You damn fishmen. The two of them were beating each other with sticks, venting their ten years of anger and grievances, just like Shira. Kill them. Kill all the fishmen. I don't know who shouted, and the residents of Kokoyasi village started to greet the fishmen who didn't know whether they were dead or not with swords, guns and sticks. There are countless people here who have lost their relatives, loved ones, and friends to the fishmen. At this moment, they were all attacking like crazy. Joseph and Johnny smoked cigarettes and pretended to be serious, but their hands and feet couldn't help but tremble. They had never seen such a battle before. They were so frightened by this group of crazy villagers that they could not kill people without even shaking their heads. They wanted to whip the corpse or even break it into thousands of pieces. Joseph. Brother, these people are so scary. Should we run away? Johnny. Second brother, don't have any reaction, smoke our cigarettes and pretend not to see, our mission is to protect the villagers. Nami. Chi Kong asked me to bring money back. At this time, Usopp's voice came. He found this place out of breath. As soon as you enter. At this time, the bloody residents turned around. Usopp would never forget that look until his death. Usopp. Equals. Yes. I'm sorry. I went to the wrong set. Kesha Town. At this time, Kesha Town was in a sea of fire, and a large group of humans lay scattered on the ground. Their opponents were only Aaron and two fishman cadres. An old village chief covered in blood, holding a dagger, roared hysterically. Aaron, your tyranny will eventually be overthrown. The will of freedom has risen in our hearts. Behind him were a group of villagers armed with simple weapons but with determined eyes. They had no choice but to use these junk weapons. Under Aaron's tyranny, any weapons that might pose a threat were ruthlessly confiscated, and they were inevitably killed to scare the monkeys. But this could not stop their determination to resist. They mobilized the whole town to resist. There were even a few trembling children in the crowd. At this moment, Aaron's face was filled with gloom. He cruelly crushed a villager's head to pieces, and a sarcastic sneer appeared at the corner of his mouth. What did I hear? A lower race actually wants to resist a higher level fish man. Look at your frail physique, ha ha ha. Aaron's men also laughed wildly one after another. The physical fitness of fishmen is ten times that of humans. Do you understand? Chirp. The one who said this was one of the three leaders of the dragon pirates, the kissing fishman Chu. His mouth can store a large amount of water, and he is best at using water cannons to attack enemies. Any human who fell to the ground with a bullet pierced wound was all caused by him. Murloc Karate Ken was shoken, a fishman wearing a karate uniform, with water spray on his arm, punched out. With one blow, the house and the human body were turned into powder. He also showed contempt and added. Ten times. That's still on land. Our advantage in water will be twenty times. What qualifications do you lowly humans have to resist us? This is one of the three leaders of the dragon pirates, the cartilaginous fishman Kruby. Faced with such an overwhelming force, the human resistors did not flinch. Their eyes were firm, and they vowed to defend their dignity to the death, shouting one after another. Take up arms. Die without regrets. Seeing this, Aaron's eyes narrowed slightly. Okay. 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 Since you want to die, then I will grant it to you. There is no need for this town to exist anymore, let it disappear completely. Aaron coldly put on a massacre posture, flicked the water droplet with his right hand, and the villagers fell one after another. The fish men started a one-sided massacre of humans. At this time, Octopus Shalba, one of the three cadres, ran panting from the seaside. Brother Aaron, something serious has happened. Aaron frowned and asked. What's wrong? Shalba, where is Mumu? Didn't I ask you to bring Mumu here? Shalba answered tremblingly. Mumu, Mumu is being controlled by someone. Xiao Wu and I were knocked away by Mumu. Aaron was furious. What? Who is so bold? At this moment, a serious and abrupt voice came. He just said you are Aaron. Right. As long as I defeat you. Nami is mine. Those who didn't know what he said were thinking that the village bully was robbing the village girl. It was Luffy who had just arrived who said this, within, I want to fight, expression on his face. Nami. Are you the rescuer invited by Nami? It's funny, she actually dares to betray me. Aaron's face was distorted, his expression extremely ferocious and violent. Do you think you can resist me by recruiting a few lower races? Look behind me. This is the consequences of resisting me. Luffy was unmoved and suddenly took action, sending Aaron flying with a rubber fist. The residents of Kesha town were stunned. That guy just now. Did he hit Aaron? Is he here to help us? The old mayor's eyes lit up. Someone was coming forward. He seemed to be very strong. Everyone. Attack. Boom. Luffy punched the old village chief seven or eight meters away, and then glared at everyone. You all get out of my way. Don't get in the way. Aaron is mine. Not only the people of Kesha town, but also the fishmen were confused by this scene. The old mayor vomited blood, took a deep look at Luffy, and issued an order. So, all the villagers gather at the top of the mountain. Retreat immediately. Leave the place to the straw hat guy. Chapter 36 Straw Hat vs. Dragon After sending away the residents of the town, Luffy pinched his fingers and said, Isn't the fishman very strong too? I thought he was so powerful. The fishmen who came back to their senses looked at Luffy. 
Kruby murmured. Did his arms extend? Is it an illusion? Aaron stood up from the ruins unscathed, his face so gloomy that it almost dripped with ink, he said coldly. No matter who you are, the guy in the straw hat, you are dead. As soon as Aaron said this, Luffy suddenly became interested, thinking he was asking who he was. Luffy straightened his straw hat and said, I'm Monkey. It's your uncle. Attack me. Aaron was furious. Chirp. 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 The fishman chirped, shooting out seven or eight water bubbles from his mouth and attacking directly towards Luffy. Luffy was a little annoyed when his opening remarks were interrupted. However, when he saw the water bombs coming, he instinctively dodged and there were fine beads of sweat on his forehead. You, you are actually a ninja. This is a bit difficult. After Luffy saw Chia's attack, he instantly thought of Chi Kang's series of ninjutsu. The two attack methods seemed to be similar. Tweeted in confusion, what kind of ninja? Lousy is a fish man. Good chance. While Luffy was distracted, Kruby suddenly appeared in front of Luffy. Murloc Karate Chimewa main fist. Following Kruby's sharp shout, he hit Luffy's chest with an extremely fierce straight fist. Luffy's chest was incredibly sunken, and Kruby's eyes almost popped out of his head. Bang. After being hit by the punch, Luffy flew backwards like an arrow, collapsing several houses along the way. Kruby shook his sleeves and wiped the sweat from his forehead. What's going on with this person's body? Illusion. He calmed down and shook off the images in his mind. He also thought that this person had been hit by the Chinwa Jungchen, and he had never seen anyone in the East China Sea who could get up again with a human body. Therefore, Kruby cast his cold eyes at the two people who had just entered the town, and said in a cold tone. Are you two of the lower races also working with that straw hat guy just now? He was talking about Chi Kong and Zoro. As soon as the two arrived in the town, they saw Chong Wei beating Laifu. No, it's Kruby hitting the rubber Luffy. Watching Luffy flying towards the ruins, the two of them had black lines on their heads. Octopus Shalba immediately recognized Chi Kong. Brother Aaron, it was these bastards who controlled Mumu. They even made Mumu hit us. Aaron looked at the two of them, and there didn't seem to be anything special about them. How do you control Mumu? Where is it now? The two of them didn't reply and entered the fighting state silently. Kruby said angrily. Brother Aaron is asking you. How do you, a group of lower races, control Mumu? When Kruby heard that he was a member of an inferior race, their eyes were cold and their faces were horribly dark. It's just a bunch of stinky fish. If you chop them down, you can drink them. Zoro held three knives in his hand and let out a wild beast's roar. Hey, Zoro, I've chosen the target, then I'll start with the meat first. Chi Kong said and began to form seals in his hands. Chu Chu Chu, the fishman Ju took advantage of the two of them to show off and launched a wave of probing attacks. All of this, when Chi Kong turns on Sharingan, the action is like playing in slow motion. Wind release vacuum sphere, he spit out several wind attribute light balls, and these light balls shot out like bullets towards the water balls. The vacuum sphere skill is a copy of Donzo's ninjutsu when Itachi was Anbu. It is somewhat similar to Phoenix Sage Fire, but faster. As for the power, it is a matter of opinion. The moment the water bullets came into contact with the wind bullets, they were immediately cut into countless water droplets. The wind bullets carried the water droplets and continued to impact towards them. It's faster than my water bomb. What kind of attack is this? Tisk tisk tisk. Wind bullets hit his face, and Shu instinctively curled up to protect his vitals. In an instant, blood spattered all over his body, and he was in excruciating pain. It hurts. B asterisk 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 D. Are you watching a show? Chu hissed. Of course Aaron and his gang would not just sit idly by and watch. Shalba didn't know when he had already grasped the six knives tightly and said sternly. How dare you attack our comrades? Let's settle old and new grudges together. Six sword style octopus leg sword. At the same time, Kruby also launched an attack. Look where you are going. The bald man in the tear trough. Fishman karate wrist slash. The two men attacked Chi Kong from left and right, and Chi Kong jumped back to avoid it in advance, leaving Zoro behind. Clang. With a sound, Zoro blocked the two attacks with three swordsmanship. Zoro's sharp eyes were locked on Hachi of the six sword style. A guy who wields a sword randomly is worthy of being a swordsman. Zoro said solemnly. Xiao Hachi was taken by this momentum and his voice trembled. Are you the famous bounty hunter, Rorano Azoro? That's right, your opponent is me. This time, Zoro is not like the one who was stabbed by Hawkeye in the original work, and takes action with the injury. He proposes to fight one against two from the very beginning. Chi Kong ignored him and disappeared in a flash at high speed. When he appeared, he had already appeared behind the fishman chirp, with a kanai stabbing out of his hand. It is common sense to cut ADC first in a team fight. Do you think I'm just a decoration? Kid, Aaron's sad voice appeared beside him, but he could see Kikong's movements clearly. What should I do if there is someone in the back row to protect me in a group fight? Just wait, someone will come to deal with you. Chi Kong took his time and Sharidan's three Magatama spins. Aaron's waving arm suddenly stopped in the air, as if still. At this time, Aaron felt like he was in purgatory, his body turned into a piece of paper, and his surroundings turned into raging fire, as if he was about to burn up in the next moment. Aaron is controlled by Genjutsu. Ju also distanced himself with a flash because of Aaron's reminder. Go to hell. Big squirt. Ju used up all the water in his inventory and sprayed out a huge water ball. 
No wonder Luffy thinks that Ju is a ninja. I have to say that the attack methods are really similar. Chi Kong performed high speed seals, using the most skilled fire style ninjutsu. Fire style great fireball technique. The fireball met the water ball, and high temperature steam filled the air instantly. It's so hot, it's so hot, it's going to turn into dried fish. Chia's reaction allowed Chi Kong to instantly capture some information. Murlocs like water but are afraid of fire. It seems that fire style is not useless in this world. Damn it, what did you do to me? At this moment, Eren panted and broke away from the genjutsu, and attacked with a rogue punch angrily. Chi Kang's eyes narrowed, so fast, his Sharingan clearly saw Eren's fist coming straight at him, but his body had no time to react. Chakra condenses at the feet, preparing to move quickly. Boom. The power of Eren's angry strike should not be underestimated. Smoke and dust were everywhere on the ground, and the earth shattered with one strike. In the smoke and dust, Chi Kong vomited blood and flew out. He was still hit by Eren's impact. It turns out everything is fake. You can't stay here. Eren's eyes were scarlet, and the feeling of being burned by flames lingered in his heart. However, his strong hatred made him rush out of there, only to realize that everything was false. Eren rushed out like a cannonball, and Eren's bombs were about to come. Chi Kong. Zoro looked over there and couldn't help but worry. He knew that Chi Kong didn't have Luffy's physique to be beaten constantly. If Luffy has heavy armor, Chi Kong now has only leather armor at best. Stop talking about Zoro. Chi Kong himself was shocked, but fortunately he was only affected by the shock. Unlike the Hokage world, which generally has high attack and low defense, the physical constitution of the pirate world is too abnormal, focusing on physical fitness and will. Chi Kong is even different. He has improved his physique little by little from that of a weak and normal person. Compared to his physique, he is even inferior to Usopp. He originally used the ninja's fighting style and basically didn't touch his body. This time I underestimated the enemy. After Zoro blocked with his sword, he used his strength to dodge a few times and tried to intercept Eren. You dare to be distracted when you are one against two. Times two. Murloc karate thousand pieces shattered bones. Black octopus juice. Zoro gritted his teeth and blocked the chinwa fist, but was splashed with octopus juice and was instantly blinded. What are you going to do to my partner? Luffy returns as the king at the critical moment. Rubber. Rubber. Life ladder. Luffy stretched out two rubber arms, one on the left and one on the right. Whoosh. Chi Kong and Zoro were pulled to Luffy's side. Chapter 37 Fire Dragon Flame Bomb, Three Sword Style Tornado. You idiot fisherman. If it doesn't work, don't try, can you? Zoro was dressed in black and looked like he could be a murderer even in the world of Conan, and he was still taunting Chi Kong. Some guy got spit on. Chi Kong immediately counterattacked. Do you want to die? Fishing man. Come on, come on. I'll give you three knives. The two immediately quarreled. Luffy on the side pressed his straw hat and said seriously to the two of them. Hey, Chi Kong. Zoro. Leave Eren to me. I will beat him away myself. After saying that, Luffy began to warm up as if no one else was around. The captain's order was given, and the two could only choose their opponents. Idiot fishing guy, that guy who tweeted is yours. The rest is mine. Why? Then I'm missing one. Ju 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 was already half disabled by me. I won't take your octopus, I want the karate one. Eren and the cadres on the opposite side were immediately furious. Eren's head was full of black lines and he roared. What do you think of the fish men? Attack me. Shark webbed palm. Chu Chu Chu. Wa Jung fist. Six sword style. Do you think you are the only ones who know how to use water? Water style water barrier. Chi Kong blocked all water drop attacks for Luffy. Zoro dodged and blocked all melee attacks with three swords. At this time, Luffy shouted. Okay. Warm up is complete. Come on, little ones. Luffy used a rubber rocket, which directly hit Eren, and the two fought together. Okay. Suo Da. You go 1v2 first, give me a minute. After Chi Kong finished speaking, he turned his target to the Murloc ADC who immersed himself in the water and sucked the water. When he was in the water, he could achieve the water gatling burst. Two Kanai were shot out, one to the left and one to the right. At the same time, Chi Kong Chakra stepped under his feet, there was a burst of explosion, and a teleportation technique disappeared from sight. Ju dodged the Kanai and found that Chi Kong had disappeared. Looking back, there was a big water ball behind him. I have brains, but not much. Little did he know that Chi Kong appeared beside him, with Kanai drawn out. Ju Kankan dodged and fired several close-range water cannons with his backhand, only hitting an afterimage. Chi Kong suddenly appeared from the side again, Kanai passed by again, and Chu tried to hide again. Do you think it will be repeated again? No, this time Chi Kong turned around and kicked him into the air. Ju's physical skills are not good, he is useless except for spraying water, and all he has in mind is muscle memory. It's stupid. Chi Kong looked at the chirp in the air with a mocking look on his face. Damn it, go to hell. Red-eyed guy, chirped in the air, and kept shooting water balls like machine guns from his mouth. Boom boom boom. Chi Kong was sweating all over and seemed unable to escape. His body was torn to pieces by the water polo. Finally he fell on the water with a look of disbelief on his face. Okay. He's finally dead. Stupid humans are not that good after all. He chirped proudly. PFF'd. I heard a sound, and suddenly I felt a warmth on my neck. I told you, you have a brain, but not much. 
Not everyone can see with my eyes. Shi Kang's mocking voice came to his ears. He was covering his neck in disbelief. His face was full of confusion. It seemed as if he was saying, didn't I kill you? He looked in the direction of Chi Kang's body. It didn't matter if he didn't look at it. There was Chi Kang's body everywhere, only the slowly flowing water. Chi Kong pulled out the kanai and poured it into the water, causing ripples. After dealing with a cadre, Chi Kong looked at Zoro. Rather than looking at Zoro, it's better to look at Kruby. His Sharingan focused at high speed, staring at Kruby using Murloc Karate, which interested him. This is a bit like the, water style our water arm jutsu, which is an ninjutsu that concentrates all the water in the body on the wrist to generate strange power. There is a high probability that Chi Kong will not eat devil fruit in the future, so this type of fighting technique doubled in water is very delicious to him. At this time, Zoro was able to deal with Shao Hachi with ease, but there was a very tricky Kruby beside him, who kept accelerating through the water. Once Zoro and Xiaobo are in a stalemate and a gap is exposed, he will sneak attack from the side, giving this big bounty hunter enough face. Two attacks and one defense, Zoro's anger is rapidly building up, and it seems that he will be able to turn it on in the near future. Ding. Three swords against six swords, Zoro perfectly blocked the six swords and at the same time gave Xiaobo one sword. Swordsmanship is not about having more swords. Our swords are not heavyweights. Zoro pretended. Stupid swordsman, are you kidding? My sword weighs 500 kilograms. Xiaobo may have a bad mind, and he completely misunderstood Zoro's meaning. Eat my move, octopus windmill, Hachi began to spin at high speed, causing a burst of high-speed air. It hit Zoro like a tornado. A tornado. Interesting. This blow will send you to heaven. Zoro said coldly. However, Kruby launched another attack at this time. The water surged, and Kru jumped out of the water like a cannonball. At this time, Zoro was preparing to take a powerful blow, and launch the new move he had just learned to kill Xiaobo first. Just when Zoro was about to charge up his power and activate it, Chi Kong took action. Being a good brother can help Zoro get hurt less often. Fire style fire dragon flame bullet. Chi Kong spit out three flames from his mouth, and the three flames attacked Kruby from three directions at the same time. If it is hit by three flames at the same time, the power is no less than the great dragon fire technique that explodes with single target lethality. Chi Kong was trying to block Kruby's position and create opportunities for Zoro, and according to the information he got, fishmen are very afraid of fire. It depends on whether Kruby has the courage to attack despite the flames. Bounty Hunter. Nothing more than that. 3000 watts, right fist. Kruby punched Zoro in the waist and was about to succeed. At this moment, he suddenly felt a wave of high temperature and heat sweeping over him. Kruby turned his head and looked around, instantly panicking. This is the fire that fishmen hate the most. The flames will evaporate the water in their bodies, and the fishman karate will directly destroy half of them. In severe cases, they may become dried fish. He has always been the one to sneak attack on others, but he was unexpectedly attacked by others. He clasped his hands together, and his wrist knife glowed faintly. Murloc karate cross cut with water water. Krug gathered the water droplets on his body and struck out with a cross slash carrying water. Two fire dragons were cut open from it, making a, chi chi, sound. What a pity, Chi Kang's ninjutsu has three paths. There's another one, Kruby looked at the fire snake above his head. Boom, the flames swept through Kruby. Without Kruby's trouble, Zoro successfully entered the state of reciting poetry. In this state, Zoro's sword deals real damage, completely ignoring defense. Chi Kong seemed to see Zoro appearing constantly. Armor breaking plus 10%, armor breaking plus 10%. As Zoro's momentum suddenly increased, a large amount of airflow suddenly appeared around him. The wind is blowing and the clouds are lingering, and the dragon is soaring. Three sword style secret meaning. Tornado. A swirling haze of light streaked across the sky, and Shalba's tornado seemed to have stopped, as the wind speed dropped from level 10 to level 1. Shalba's eyes suddenly turned white, and he flew into the sky spinning, his whole body being cut by the sword energy like the wind. Blood splattered everywhere, and he finally fell to the ground. Zoro coolly sheathed his sword. Suo Da is awesome. He can kill people and pretend to be cool. A whole fishing guy, who asked you to help me? I could have killed both. Chi Kong chuckled. If you don't help, someone's waste will be gone. Asterisk backquote D, do you want to fight? Anger come on, who is afraid of whom? You, you actually defeated Shao Hachi. Kruby, with a charred face, emerged from the water with disbelief on his face. They are an advanced race, and their quality is ten times that of ordinary people. Zoro said pretentiously, a guy who can only chop is not a real swordsman. You should be surprised if you lose to him. Zoro made an attack posture, but Kruby was not panic at all. He was in the water now, and this was the battlefield of the fishmen. He looked at Chi Kong again. You were the one who attacked me just now. The bald man. What did you do to him? Chi Kong smiled ferociously and said, You will meet him soon. Wasn't it great to play two on one just now? Chapter 38 Is this okay? Secure Asset Portal. Your trusted source for secure and informative digital assets. Register with your real phone number and get bonus just for registering. Try for free. On the path leading to Kesha Town. Hurry up. Hurry up Usopp. Luffy and the others are fighting. Dumb. Dumb. Nami shouted anxiously, and the dark crow above him flapped its wings to guide the way. Nami ran a few steps and found that there was no sound behind her, so she looked back. 
After seeing Usopp dawdling behind her, she was furious. It's not that Usopp doesn't want to hurry, it's that he doesn't dare. An earthquake-shaking battle came from the direction of Kesha town. Houses continued to collapse and smoke and dust were everywhere. Usopp swallowed instinctively. I can't help but think, can people participate in this? Usopp said tremblingly. We actually don't have to go so fast. Luffy and the others will definitely be able to handle it. If it's a battle, why not let the sword master and the others come? After Usopp finished speaking, he instinctively boasted. I recently got a disease that makes my legs hurt whenever I walk. Usopp's legs shook even more when he saw Nami coming. Don't come here, Nami. This disease really exists in the world. Boom. Nami looked like a chestnut to Usopp and said angrily. It hurts. What do you mean your feet are shaking so fast? Am I so scary? Usopp nodded instinctively. The scene in Aaron Park just now was still fresh in his memory. Idiot Usopp. You are looking for death. Nami another chestnut. Just tell me, can you hurry up? Nami's face darkened, and she tightened her grip on the bloody stick. Usopp rushed out a hundred meters in an instant, and Bolt was stunned when he saw it. Seeing this, Nami quickly followed up and murmured as he ran. Don't let anything happen to you, everyone. Water Style 5 Food Shark Chi Kong pressed his hand in the water to activate the ninjutsu of an old friend, hoping to use this ninjutsu to force Kruby to leave the water. However, Kruby used Fishman Karate to easily defeat five chakra sharks, and even popped up to taunt them. Three Swordsman Style Demon Slayer Zoro jumped up and slashed at Kruby who had his head exposed in the water. Kruby dived directly into the water, letting Zoro miss with one blow, and followed the trend with another rocket head hammer, sending Zoro back to land. Zoro vomited a mouthful of blood, his expression gloomy and scary. Come out if you have the guts. You weakling. Chi Kong taunted from the shore. Come down if you have the guts. Bald man. Kruby responded with a provocative backhand. The two sides reached a deadlock. This is difficult to handle. Chi Kong thinks that water fighting is not enough. Although some fishman karate has been copied, many key parts have not been clarified, which seems to be related to racial differences. Now there is only its form. Isn't it nonsense to ask Li Gui to beat Li Kui? Just when everyone was deadlocked, Chi Kong thought of something. Hey, Zoro will kill you soon. You cover me. After saying that, Chi Kong took out the supreme quick rod, with his right hand, took out a special fishing bait from his crotch and hung it up. You don't want to fish, do you? Zoro's expression was very rich. Chi Kong said disapprovingly. Murlocs are also fish. Why not? Kruby in the water looked a little confused at Chi Kang's movements. What is this guy going to do? I saw Chi Kong throwing the pole accurately, and his aura converged, like an old monk entering concentration. This is fishing. What are you doing to me? Damn it. Crow's veins popped out, anger arose in his heart, and evil grew in his guts. Kill you. Kill you. Kruby began to swim in the water, accelerating through the current. Prepare for the strongest attack, 3000 watts wrist slash. Even if he rushes to land, he will kill this guy. But Kruby thought very well. When a dark thing around him kept swaying, he instinctively felt that something was wrong. What is this? It smells great. I really want to take a bite. The, special bait, produced by dark crow is as attractive to objects in the water as heroin. Regardless of living things or non-living things. Kruby cut open a smelly leather shoe that came from nowhere, and then cut open a piece of seaweed that came from nowhere. He looked at the bait in front of him and fell into deep thought. Chi Kong looked at the calm water on the shore, but there was no response from the fishing rod. Zoro was tired of squeezing the knife, but he didn't react at all. He looked at Chi Kong and rolled his eyes. Chi Kong was also anxious. How long has this been going on? Is it possible? Here's a reaction. The air force is fine too. At this time, Kruby underwater was also fighting between heaven and man. Two cartilaginous fishmen appeared in his mind, constantly arguing. I'm not a fish. I'm a fish man. This is something for a bald man. It must be a scam. Take a bite. Just take a bite. Kruby. In the end, the sinister Kruby punched his honest self to pieces. Eat it. Then beat that bald man away. Then no one will know. Kruby no longer hesitated, biting into the special bait, and then showed an intoxicated smile. This feeling, Kruby seemed to be on a warm beach, with the sun shining, the sea breeze blowing, the ebb and flow of the tide, and the seawater washing over his body. At this time, the fishing rod was trembling on the shore. Took the bait, Chi Kong suddenly lifted the pole, and a Kruby mixed with water drops shone in the sun, with a crazy smile on his face. Chi Kong felt the improvement in physical fitness. Kruby was roughly equal to the improvement of two Johnny and Joseph, which were referred to as two, forced appointments. If I had known that I could play like this, I should have gone to the Murloc territory with Nami first. This would have required me to catch more Murlocs. Why don't you just take off where you are? Damn that stupid swordsman, I blame him for stopping me. Chi Kong was scolding Zoro in his heart. At this time, Zoro was ready to go. He looked at Kruby and smiled ferociously. The moment Kruby was fished out of the water, the intoxicating feeling in his heart suddenly disappeared without a trace. I, I was actually caught. Kruby reacted with a look of shame and anger, but what he responded to was Zoro's cold eyes. You won't be able to run away this time, Zontu. That hurt just now. Zoro swung his swords forward and jumped up. Santo Ryu Tora hunting. 
Three rays of light flashed by, and Kruv's eyes turned white and spun in the air. Fire-style great dragon fire technique. Shi Kong formed a seal with his hands, and used his most lethal fire ninjutsu at this stage, hoping to kill him with one blow. As the flame turned into a dragon's head, a red and black dragon's head bit Kruby. Boom. After the violent explosion, the shriveled Kruby trembled all over, smoke came from the corners of his mouth, and he rolled his eyes. It's common sense to just roll your eyes and never die. Shi Kong frowned, just as he was hesitating whether to hit the target or not. Must kill Fire Star. Boom. Another explosion of flames struck, and Kruv's eyes turned from white to closed. A smile appeared on Shi Kang's lips. RADC arrived late and actually picked up a head. He is very satisfied with this result. Chapter 39 King vs. King. Shi Kong, Zoro, Usopp and Nami wearing a crow gradually approached the center of Kesha town. Now the final battle is left with Luffy's King vs. King. All the fish men cadres were killed, yes, all dead, including Shaoba. Shi Kong hesitated when facing the fish man Shaoba. Although the fish man Hachi has a simple mind and does not intend to do evil, he is still an accomplice of the fish people who bring a shadow to Nami. In the end, Shi Kong quietly ended his life with a knife. Since he chose to eradicate the root cause, and now that he has killed so many murlocs, it is not realistic for Shaoba and the others to forget their hatred. It is better to do less than to do more. Let's talk about the future matters later. Thinking of this, Shi Kong suddenly became enlightened. At this time, Nami grabbed Murkrow and rubbed it against her chest, hiding her inner uneasiness and expectation. She never thought that this day would come so quickly and suddenly. The rule of the fishmen is about to be overthrown, and the culprits are his friends. At this time, a high-pitched cry came from the horizon. I'm a shark murloc, a strong man among fishmen. How can a brat like you beat me? Let me show you the oppression of the race. After several people got closer, they found that the iron teeth in Aaron's mouth were glowing coldly, and he opened his bloody mouth and bit Luffy with the iron teeth skill. Luffy dodged in a roundabout way. This scene made Nami's eyes full of worry. Hey, Shi Kong, Zoro, and Usopp, shall we just watch? As she said that, she turned around and looked at the three people next to her. It didn't matter if she didn't look at them. Her face turned dark when she saw them. Shi Kong had already taken out his fishing rod and started fishing leisurely, pointing at Luffy and Aaron. Zoro took out a broken wine bottle from somewhere and was pouring wine into his mouth. Only Usopp was relatively normal. Although his legs kept shaking, he still kept aiming his slingshot at Aaron, but he couldn't bear to shoot. Nami has black lines all over her head, it's obviously such a serious occasion. Zoro rarely opened his mouth to explain. Don't worry, trust Luffy, unless that guy opens his mouth, he won't let others interfere in his fight. That's right, if you can't beat him, let's just fight together. Shi Kong also added to reassure Nami. Usopp saluted Nami. Report Nami, the Sniper King is ready to support you at any time. Don't worry. Nami held his forehead and sighed. Damn it. You are really a bunch of hopeless idiots. With her partner like this, she could only continue to focus on the battlefield. At this time, Luffy, who kept making detours, finally showed his flaw and was bitten in the arm by Aaron. Luffy was in unbearable pain and was about to have his arm bitten off. Don't panic. Luffy turned around and smashed Aaron's teeth with an elbow strike. The two of them kept distance from each other. Luffy's condition seemed to be in poor condition, with blood oozing from many places, but resisting beatings was Luffy's talent, and Zoro and Shi Kong, who knew the details, didn't panic. On the other side, Aaron's condition cannot be said to be good, and his body is dented in many places, but for a fish man's physique, it's not bad. It's just that Aaron doesn't understand why this straw hat guy can't be defeated no matter how hard he fights. At this time, he finally discovered everyone watching the show. Aaron narrowed his eyes slightly and saw a familiar figure among the four people. He is now completely angry. The arrival of these people means that all his cadres have been defeated. My cadres were defeated by a group of lower races like you. Your betrayal makes me very unhappy. My little Nami. When facing Aaron, Nami was still a little timid, but this time, she stretched out her blood-stained arm and said firmly. Aaron, what you did makes me sick. What I regret most is that I had to deal with you, the hateful pirates. Now I have nothing to do with you at all. Nami pointed at Luffy and continued. Luffy will definitely defeat you. Your rule has been overthrown. Aaron pointed at Luffy and mocked Nami. You keep saying you hate pirates, so what's going on with this guy who claims to be One Piece? Nami said seriously. They are my partners. They are completely different from you. Aaron smiled wildly. Scared ha ha ha, you still haven't changed. After all, you just saw how powerful this pirate group is. Didn't they just trick you into dying? After all, betrayal and deception are too common for you. After hearing this, Usopp looked at Aaron and then at Nami, as if to say, can this woman also lie? Why didn't I know? Nami panicked and tried to explain. No, no, I really like how Luffy gets along with everyone. I sincerely regard them as partners. She did do these things in the past. She was chased by some stupid pirates or bounty hunters because of the theft, and finally gave people away as food. After being defeated, the treasure and Aaron were divided. Although she hopes that those guys can defeat Aaron every time, the ending is always tragic. But, Nami swears, this time is really different. Aaron's sowing dissension did not bring any effect to Chi Kong and the others, but it succeeded in irritating a certain rubber man and made him a lot of anger. 
If he doesn't die, who will die? Nami is my partner. What kind of person is she? You don't need to take care of her. Luffy hit Eren with a rubber head hammer, falling from the sky. Another rubber whip that sweeps the leg directly blocked Eren's movement. Then Mad Dog fists, rubber machine gun, fired with full firepower. A violent storm of fists struck, each punch heavier than the last, and instantly the sky was filled with shadows of fists. Before Eren could understand what was going on, Luffy punched out with a powerful and heavy punch. By the way, he declared to Eren the ownership of Nami, she is my sailor. Seaman. Eren was punched into a private house by Luffy, and the house fell to the ground in an instant. It hurts to look at it. Luffy. Nami covered her mouth and was moved, but also felt Luffy's thoughts. Chi Kong was studying hard on the side. Luffy's sincere way of picking up girls was really unbeatable. In fact, Nami didn't need to explain at all, Chi Kong had already told them the story. However, Nami's mood has been up and down too many times today. I am afraid that she will think too much, so she should improve her favorability. After all, she is the Minister of Finance. He patted Nami on the shoulder and said, Nami, I know the suffering you have suffered and the reason why you did what you did. Luffy and I believe in you. That's why we came to find you, isn't it? As he said that, Chi Kong gave Nami a heartfelt gesture with a sincere look on his face. Nami looked at Chi Kong, with tears in her eyes, extremely moved. Chi Kong, thank you, thank you. Chi Kong coughed and continued. So, can my loan interest be lower? Chi Kang's words made Nami freeze on the spot. When Zoro saw this, he came over with a blushing face. Nami, me, me too, I want to get a loan to buy wine. Nami's face was horribly dark, and she raised her fists. You bastards, Usopp's legs kept shaking, aren't you even a match for Chi Kong and Zoro? Nami is so, so powerful. When Chi Kong and Zoro were beaten, Eren crawled out of the ruins panting. He didn't understand why the guy who was weak just now suddenly burst out with power that he didn't understand. He looked at Luffy, who was panting and dripping blood, and for the first time he felt troubled. Stupid lower race, how long can you hold on with your tattered body? As for risking your life for Nami. Chapter 40 The Evil Dragon is Destroyed. Secure Asset Portal. Your trusted source for secure and informative digital assets. Register with your real phone number and get bonus just for registering. Try for free. Aaron's words aroused Luffy's inner emotions. He tightened the straw hat on his head, and then burst into a heart-shaking roar. You don't understand the meaning of companionship at all. I don't know how to ninjutsu. I don't know how to use a knife either. I don't even know how to navigate. Not even good at lying. If no one helps me, I definitely won't survive and I won't be able to get out of the sea. So, partner, that is an existence that needs to be defended with life. From the moment I knew Nami was crying, I swore that I would beat you away. Even if it cost me my life. Luffy's announcement made the other fishermen smile unconsciously. Nami's face was even covered with tears. This is Luffy's personality charm. This is my youth. Chi Kong murmured. He was also very moved. Although there was some butterfly effect, it was still so touching. Boom. Chi Kong turned into Arida and used the transformation technique to cover up his embarrassing state. Eren's mentality collapsed at this time. He was rendered unable to fight back by Luffy's sincere words. You loser. What's the point of living? Just die. Shark tooth car. Eren's teeth kept closing, his body rotated at high speed, and he started to launch towards Luffy. This blow can differentiate between superiority and inferiority, as well as life and death. Luffy ignored him, turned to Nami and shouted at the top of his lungs, Nami. Be my navigator. Yeah, uh-huh. Nami was already crying, and was shocked by Luffy's actions. She could only nod her head, hoping that Luffy would fight seriously. Chi Kong slapped his head, it must be Luffy. Learned, learned. You are looking for death. Eren approached angrily and stabbed Luffy in the abdomen, causing blood to spurt out. Luffy roared angrily and activated, endless fury. Both hands firmly grasped Eren's shoulders. As the rubber arm was rotated at high speed, Eren's speed dropped sharply. At this time, Eren felt the aura of forcing the king, and he was dripping with cold sweat. Luffy grinned. Rubber spiral siege cannon. Boom, boom, boom. Under the influence of the huge force of the rubber, Eren flew out at an astonishing speed, leaving only a vague trajectory in the air. After flying continuously for hundreds of meters, it stirred up dust all over the sky and the houses in the small town collapsed. The power of Luffy's attack actually reached the town-destroying level. With Eren's defeat, the dragon pirates, who had ruled here for eight years, were destroyed. Nami felt the sharp pain in her arm, which told her that this was not a dream. There were tears in her eyes. From the day Belmir was killed, he had been living in pain and terror. The day has finally arrived. Belmir, did you see that? Kokoja is liberated. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. Nami burst out laughing, tears rolling down her face. Thank you, Luffy, and everyone. Nami is willing to go to sea with you. After Eren was defeated, Nami personally tied up the unconscious Eren, using Chi Kang's fishing line. She wants to take the initiator back for trial. Under Nami's begging eyes, Chi Kong finally gritted his teeth and lent the supreme big rod to Nami. Naturally, Chi Kong demands that he never leave Eren. If this thing was lost, he would be doomed. At this time, the old mayor of Kesha town came around with a group of villagers. 
Aaron is defeated. He is free. We are free. Straw hat. Hero. When they saw that the fishmen who once ruled them were now tied up and half dead, their cheers never stopped. In the original plot of Kesha Town, it was Aaron who destroyed Mumu, and only one child survived in the town. Because of the butterfly effect caused by Chi Kong, the current Kesha Town is also destroyed, but at least many people are still alive, which can be considered a good thing. At this time, another noisy footsteps sounded. Nami. Nokigao held the stick and hugged Nami with a worried look on his face. She was followed by a group of indignant Kokoyasi villagers. Because they were worried about Nami, after the whole village dealt with the fish man, they came over to face Eren with Nami. If Nami loses, they will fight together. If Nami wins, greet the heroes in triumph. The sword master duo tried their best to stop them, but could not stop them, so they could only follow them tremblingly. Nami also hugged Nokigao tightly, and the two hugged each other and cried. Nokigao. We won. Eren was defeated. Koko Nishi village was liberated. At this time, Ajian and the old mayor of Kesha town stood together and issued a sole question. Straw hat. Heroes. Say your name. I will record this moment in the village's classics. Spread your good stories. After hearing this, Luffy spread his arms. Ha ha ha. I am Monkey D. Luffy, and I am the man who wants to be One Piece. There was so little time to show off that Usopp pointed at his nose. I am the greatest warrior on the sea, Captain Usopp. The man who once could hit a whale with a slingshot. Zoro snorted without introducing. But, this is the three sword style, the crazy swordsman Rorno Azoro. And his younger brothers Johnny and Joseph. Chi Kong pointed at San Sha and helped introduce them. And I, Chi Kong pointed at himself again. At this time, she still looked like a fat woman. I am the most beautiful woman in this sea, Miss Arita. Cheer, little ones, Chi Kong said, waving his stick. Oh, my benefactor, I'm sorry. Alita, beautiful Arita, uh, I'm sorry. Boom, don't be so disgusting, Chi Kong, boom. Chi Kong returned to his true form, touched his bald head, and was shocked. Nami's fist actually broke his transformation technique. If you are just subjected to this kind of external force, you shouldn't do it. While Chi Kong was still wondering what was going on, Luffy shouted and attracted everyone's attention. If there are so many people, let's have a banquet. Chi Kong interrupted at an inappropriate time. There's no food for you here, the whole town has been demolished by you. Yes, yes, let's borrow it or buy it. Give us one hour and we'll make sure to arrange a grand banquet for you. The villagers of Kokoyasi village and the residents of Kesha town made repeated assurances. Luffy thought for a moment and smiled. He he he, I have decided, all of Eren's treasure will be given to you. Nami said the treasure is meat. I want to eat a lot of meat. Long live Straw Hat. One piece Luffy. Long live. Long live the Straw Hat Pirates. As soon as Luffy said these words, the cheers grew louder and louder. They feel that even if these people are pirates, they are also just pirates. Nami felt a little sad when she saw Luffy being such a prodigal, and the road was long and long. She tightened her treasure chest again, feeling a little reluctant to let it go. Finally, she handed it over to Aegean, who had always treated her as her own. Uncle Aegean, I have given you all the inventory over the years. Let's develop our hometown into an orange grove. Ha ha. In this case, Belmir will definitely be happy. After saying that, Nami took Nuo Chigao aside, not giving Aegean the chance to refuse at all. Taken looked at the treasure box in his hand, then at Nami who was smiling, and stretched his hand towards the windmill above his head. Happy Nami, I'll probably never need this again. This windmill was meant to make Nami happy when she was a child. At this moment, Nami smiled from the bottom of her heart. It also fulfilled its mission. Chapter 41 Banquet, Marine Attacks Secure Asset Portal, your trusted source for secure and informative digital assets. Register with your real phone number and get bonus just for registering. Try for free. That night, the entire Kokoyasi village was covered with laughter, bonfires were raised, and people were singing and dancing. The villagers of Kesha town and Kekiasi village cooperated and cheered and celebrated for the hero. The centerpiece of the banquet is naturally our protagonist group, the Straw Hats. The most eye-catching ones are the funny foursome of Luffy, Yusa, the King of Swordsmen, and of course our fat Arida. The five of them danced with chopsticks stuck in their nostrils. Tell me, who is the most? Chi Kong was still posing. Bang. There was a sound, and his transformation technique was punished by Nami's iron fist that escaped. This caused everyone to burst into laughter and understand the difference between the straw hats. And when Nami saw that Chi Kong, who was serious at the beginning, turned into as mentally retarded as Luffy, and even more perverted, she couldn't help but hold her forehead and shake her head. How did Chi Kong become like this? What went wrong? Is Luffy's idiocy contagious? Nami looked at Zoro who was drinking with the villagers and didn't find anything wrong with him. She sighed and sat next to Nochigao. Nami, are you leaving? Your relationship is really good. Nami nodded Kaido. Nokigao, forgive me, I'm going to see to realize my dream. Although I can't bear to leave Kokoyasi, these idiots can't do it without me. I still owe them a lot of money. I can only pay it off as a navigator. Nokigao looked at Nami's determined look and smiled, knowing that Nami had finally come out of the quagmire of the past and was willing to live for herself. All this is because of the straw hats. Nokigao took a sip of orange juice, looked at Nami's friends, and said, them. I should feel relieved if you are with them, Nami. 
No one responded to Nakigao's words. At this time, Nami had collapsed on the ground and fell asleep. She had never been so relaxed. Nokigao gently covered Nami with a blanket and murmured, It's really, thank you for your hard work, Nami. When the time comes to daytime, the lively atmosphere in Coco West comes to an abrupt end. Villagers lying on the ground and sleeping soundly could be seen everywhere. At this time, Luffy had meat in his mouth and fell into a deep sleep. Zoro and Chi Kong spent the whole night drinking and just fell asleep. Nokigao and Nami, who were leaning against each other, had tears in their eyes but were smiling, dreaming of some sweet dream. Usopp slept among a bunch of villagers, exhausted from bragging. At this time, Aaron, he's dead, someone shouted. One sentence woke everyone up. Zoro was the first to open his eyes. It was Zoro and Chi Kong who took turns guarding Aaron last night. They all chose to turn a blind eye to the angry behavior of the villagers. Nami had this intention in tying Aaron here. At this time, the fishing line on Aaron's body had been withdrawn, and he was lying on the ground dripping with blood, with various injuries on his body. Aaron is really dead, who did it? Nami asked. Yesterday many people punched and kicked Aaron, and she was one of them. With Aaron's physique, this attack was almost like tickling, and he didn't even wake up from a coma. All the villagers lowered their heads, thinking that one of them was the one suffering from stress. Although they were relieved, they felt very guilty. They really want Aaron to die, but this is the spoils of the straw hats. Joseph and Johnny appeared on the left and right. Based on our many years of experience as a bounty hunter, Aaron's fatal injury should have been in his neck. He was fatally choked by a single blow from a small weapon. The two quickly gave their analysis. Zoro picked up the bottle and took a sip of wine and said. It's boring. Just die. I'll give you an explanation. Chi Kong yelled angrily. Who is it? Who is it? Aaron's bounty was 30 million. Now it is only worth 9 million. This is all Pele. Zoro on the side looked at Chi Kong like an idiot and was speechless. Misfortunes never come singly. At this time, a villager came over anxiously and shouted. No. The straw hats. Marine is here. The sound of, Marine, instantly made the atmosphere tense to the extreme. Luffy. Usopp. Wake up. Marine is here. Nami already thought that she was a member of the straw hats, and hurriedly slapped Usopp and Luffy awake. Chi Kong on the side raised his hand disdainfully and said, isn't it Marine? Just beat him up. Let's continue playing music and dancing. With that said, Chi Kong transformed into Arida, held up the big stick and walked outside. It's not like he hasn't killed Marine before. Well, I was knocked unconscious this time. Zoro on the side also drew his sword and said, leave the swordsman to me. The two pushed aside the crowd and looked at Marine. Chi Kong almost dropped his stick at this time. Who did he see? In the original work, the smoke fruit user who chased Luffy all over the sea, Smoker. Why is this guy here? Isn't he stationed in Rog Town? Now that Straw Hat doesn't know how to be domineering, how can he survive? Smoker has silvery white hair, wears a hunter's coat, holds three cigars in his mouth, and carries a special weapon, ten hands, on his back. This is a weapon specially designed to restrain swords. It is used to jam the knife, break the knife, and attack the throat. Smoker received a report that someone had taken action against Colonel Marine and killed many Marines, so the headquarters sent him to come and learn about the situation. He had heard about the deeds of the Dragon Pirates before he came. Although he didn't want to come, he came in the end, preparing to give Aaron a deterrent. Some things should not go too far. As soon as he landed on the island, he saw the flag of the Straw Hat Pirates and found that he had no impression of it. It was a little-known pirate group. At the same time, I also learned that Aaron was not the only pirate group here. Because Colonel Mouse is responsible for contacting and supervising the Dragon Pirates, he is both a dog of the world government. Therefore, there is a high probability that it is this group of stupid young people who will take action against the mice. Smoker arrived alone and stared at the fat Albero. I am Colonel Smoker of Marine Headquarters. Arida, I want to arrest you for killing Colonel Mouse. Why don't you just let it go? He just wanted to take action. At this time, the cheers of the villagers came first. What? Colonel Mouse is dead too. Marvelous. The villagers did not expect that double happiness would come to them in one day. If the atmosphere was not right, they would have cheered and celebrated again with their straw hats in hand. What's wrong? Fishing guy. Is he strong? Zoro noticed Chi Kang's expression, pulled out his turban, smiled crookedly, and was ready to make a move. Don't be stupid, Zoro. There are so many villagers here, how can we do anything? Ask Luffy to evacuate. Chi Kong didn't say that he couldn't beat him, for fear that Zoro would not accept it. However, when Cao Cao and Cao Cao arrived, Luffy showed up. Who are you? What do you want to do to my partner? At this moment, Luffy appeared in a flash, with meat still stuffed in his mouth, looking at the smoker with a puzzled look on his face. Are you the green pirates? The crime of killing Marine is not a small one. Just right, we will kill all of your pirates in one fell swoop. Luffy didn't flinch after hearing this, gate of opening is his signature skill. I do not want it. Rubber machine gun. The rubber fist attacked Smoker, but it passed through his body, and beads of sweat formed on Luffy's forehead. He didn't feel the physical contact. Smoker's body turned into smoke and spread out, sweeping towards everyone. Chi Kong was startled and shouted, Get away. Don't be caught by the smoke. Chapter 42 Yan Nan's ability. Don't want to get caught. 
Hearing this, Luffy stopped attacking and dodged one after another while holding his hat. But the smoke was really weird, and Luffy was eventually trapped by the smoke. What exactly is going on? Luffy kept attacking the smoke that trapped him, and found that there was nothing he could do, with a look of anxiety on his face. He couldn't catch the smoke, but he could control himself strangely. Santo Ryu Tora hunting. Zoro was also ruthless and didn't say much, so he directly attacked Smoker's body. To Zoro's surprise, his knife also hit the air. At this time, a cloud of smoke also trapped Zoro. The smoke formed by Smoker squirmed and then transformed into a human form again, pretending. It's useless. I am a Lodia Devil Fruit, Smoke Fruit user, and this attack has no effect. The so-called Lodia was recognized as the strongest of the three Devil Fruits in the early days. The biggest feature of Lodia is that it can elementalize the body, making physical attacks ineffective. Luffy. Zoro. Nami shouted anxiously. Is it possible that the Straw Hats will be destroyed just after joining them? At this time, must kill Fire Star. Boom. A ball of flame hit Smoker successfully, taking advantage of every opportunity. Usopp's critical moment blow successfully helped Luffy and Zoro break free. Well done, Usopp. Chi Kong praised. The smoker extinguished the flame and the cigar burned into powder. His face is a little dark, really black, because his hair is a little burnt. Up asterisk 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 me off. Immediately, smoker's lower body turned into swirling smoke, rushing towards everyone like a jet. Chi Kang's body flashed and he appeared in smoker's path. Marine sixth form. Are you really Alita? When Chi Kong appeared, he couldn't help but feel shocked and subconsciously slowed down. At this moment, Chi Kong was maintaining the form of Arida, his bloated body trembling slightly, which invisibly put great pressure on Smoker. Wind escaped great breakthrough. A fierce wind pressure swept across, and Smoker's smoke body instantly became unstable and swayed in the wind. This is AC level basic wind escape ninjutsu. Depending on the amount of chakra input, it can produce hurricanes of different levels. The wind pressure is very high, and it focuses on disturbing, not killing. Smoker's smoke dispersed in an instant, and he was forced to release his elemental transformation and fall to the ground. He braved the strong wind and stared at, Alita. As this, a wind-type devil fruit ability. It's really troublesome. Chi Kong had already used all his strength to suck the milk, and while continuing to inject chakra, he shouted loudly behind him. Luffy. This guy is not something we can deal with. It will be very troublesome once he gets entangled with him. You retreat first, I will take the back. Luffy also felt that it was very difficult. His attacks seemed to be ineffective against Smoker, so he asked with concern, Chi Kong, are you really okay? Chi Kong began to form seals in his hands and said quickly, with my methods, it's easy to escape. I'll follow you right away. Trust me. Okay. Nami. Usopp. Zoro. Board the ship. Luffy shouted to everyone. Nami nodded. I didn't expect the parting to be so sudden, but it's okay to avoid sadness. She shouted. Nagio. I leave the orange grove to you. Goodbye. And fellow villagers. Nami is going to see. The villagers reluctantly said goodbye to Nami. Let's go. Nami. Take care. Nami. Eat on time. Jien came late and waved goodbye like an old father. Nami. Everything is ready for you. Have a safe journey. Nami nodded heavily and ran towards the seaside with a sunny smile. Johnny, Joseph, Koko Nishimura will be left to you. Zoro said. They were the only ones with innocent identities. For fear of someone slipping through the net, the two chose to stay in the village. Yes, brother. We will help rebuild. The juggernaut duo said goodbye with tears. Smoker witnessed all this, his face was livid, veins popped out, and he said angrily. What do you think I am? Do you think I'm joking? Want to run away? It's not that easy. You hateful pirates. His sharp eyes were locked on Chi Kong. Although I don't know where you learned the Marine Six styles from, your tricks end here. With a swish sound, Smoker activated, shaving, instantly flashed to Chi Kang's side and launched an attack, White Snake. Chi Kang's Sharingan can capture the afterimage of Smoker. Bang. With a sound, Smoker's attack failed. What? Wine barrel. Where's the fat woman? At this time, Chi Kang's sarcastic voice came from behind. Smoke seems to be afraid of fire. Fire style great fireball technique. As Chi Kong formed a seal and shouted, the huge fireball instantly swallowed Smoker. White fist. Smoker in the sea of fire swung out fists of smoke, like rubber machine guns, and directly annihilated the great fireball. Chi Kong swallowed, is this okay? We have to find a way to escape. This kind of enemy is a bit difficult to deal with. Chi Kong thought, sharing and spinning in his eyes. Hey, Smoker. We just liberated this place. I don't want the bounty from Aaron and the others. I'll give it all to you. How about letting me live? Smoker looked at Chi Kong with a mocking look on his face. Pirates are pirates, don't cover up your evil just because you did a good thing. You are not just for the wealth of the dragon pirates. Just when Smoker was about to take action again, the surrounding environment suddenly changed, and the original space became empty, hot, and red. The ground suddenly cracked and magma rolled underground. Smoker had no idea that he had been hit by Genjutsu and jumped on alert. How is this going? After a while, Smoker finally broke free from the Genjutsu, with an angry face and yelled. A hole. Everything is fake. How dare you play tricks on me? Smoker looked up and found Chi Kang's shadow somewhere. At this time, Chi Kong had cleverly transformed into a villager and blended in with the crowd. 
Genjutsu only controlled Smoker for a moment, but fortunately he chose to avoid the attack temporarily. But looking at Smoker's appearance, the mental damage caused by this is not small. Smoker relit a cigar and said coldly, You can't escape, Alita, and the Straw Hats. I, Smoker, swear in the name of the White Hunter. With that said, he was about to chase Luffy in the direction of his escape. At this time, a child picked up a stone on the ground, threw it at Smoker, and yelled. You are a bad person. Arita is the most, best woman in this sea. You are not allowed to take her away. The stone he threw passed through Smoker and clattered to the ground. However, one word caused a stir. A whole marine, don't even think about stopping Nami from going to sea. Everyone, come on. Whether it was the straw hats who were causing trouble or the stinky marine, the villagers surrounded Smoker in anger, just to create an opportunity for Nami and the others to go to sea. You damn marines, Rat and Aaron are in cahoots. He deserves to die. What were you marines doing when Aaron ruled cruelly? Get us out of Coco West Village. Get out of the Zumaida Islands. You bunch of money-grubbing trash. The words of the villagers and the greetings from the pots and pans made Smoker's face look terrifyingly gloomy. I can't help but wonder what the idiots from Branch 16 have done here. Smoker is a Marine who firmly believes in justice, which is very similar to Kirby, so he is called Marine Mad Dog. After listening to the villagers, words and using vague information to piece together a rough idea, he also understood what the Straw Hats were doing here. Are you really pirates? This group of people did something even Marine couldn't do. While Smoker was deep in thought, a villager's figure quietly disappeared. Chapter 43 Setting Sail and Pursuing Troops Secure Asset Portal Your trusted source for secure and informative digital assets. Register with your real phone number and get bonus just for registering. Try for free. Nami felt the leeward direction and gave instructions. At the same time, he nervously stared at the coastline and asked anxiously. Isn't Chi Kong back yet? Luffy pressed his hat, feeling not very relaxed, but he still said firmly. Chi Kong must be fine, he is a ninja. Zoro grabbed the boat rope, ready to sail at any time, and at the same time looked into the distance. Pay close attention to the direction where Chi Kong might appear. At this time, a villager's figure appeared in his field of vision, and in a few flashes, he narrowed the distance. Zoro smiled and said, I knew that a dead fisherman wouldn't be caught so easily. Chi Kong climbed onto Meili in a few steps and breathed a sigh of relief. The idiot Luffy saw Chi Kong and immediately asked, Hey, uncle, have you seen Chi Kong? The ninja on our ship. These words made Chi Kong sweat profusely. Bang, Nami gave him an iron fist on the head without hesitation. Idiot Luffy, isn't it obvious that this is Chi Kong? Chi Kong lifted the transformation spell and regained his bald image. I escaped thanks to the folks in Nami, they were really nice. Nami smiled knowingly, is Nuauchi better than them? They still have a conscience. Chi Kong, it's indeed Chi Kong, I knew you would be fine. Luffy finally reacted and hugged Chi Kong for a while. Chi Kong rolled his eyes at Luffy. Okay, Luffy, there's some bad news. When I returned just now, I saw Marine's warship heading here, probably Smoker's colleagues. We must get out of here as soon as possible. Next to him, Nami smiled confidently and said, Leave the navigation to me. I guarantee they won't be able to catch up. Usopp pointed at himself, twisted his long nose and said confidently, Leave the bombardment to Captain Usopp, who is always accurate. Luffy adjusted his hat and shouted, So, friends, let's go. The goal is. Luffy suddenly got stuck and stood there awkwardly. Burati, idiot Luffy, Chi Kong reminded, that's right, let's set sail, ha ha ha, Luffy laughed proudly. However, Nami interjected quietly, in the final analysis, the food I cook is not delicious. Everyone's head was covered with black lines, they were scattered in an instant. The other side, Smoker boarded the warship panting, a little tired. Just now, Koko Nishimura and his party made Marine lose face. He stood on the bow of the ship, staring at the straw hats who gradually disappeared from sight, his expression extremely gloomy. Damn it, what's going on? We are a warship, how can we not catch up? Yan Nan shouted to the adjutant. Smoker's adjutant is a bespectacled, somewhat confused girl, his name is Dasky. Zoro would be shocked if he saw it. At this moment, she nervously reported the situation. Colonel Smoker, their navigators, navigation skills are very strong. They can even detect the undercurrents of the water body. While we were getting rid of the vortex, they had already moved a long distance away. And their power is no worse than that of warships. They also have weird acceleration methods and even the ability to change the direction of the wind. Dasky pointed to the black spot on the sea. This was Chi Kong running on water. His, wind release great breakthrough, created enough power for the melee to deviate from the undercurrent, and instantly opened a large distance between the warships. What an interesting group of pirates. They are too powerful. If these guys don't care, they will be a big disaster to the entire sea. Smoker ordered. Continue to pursue. I will take action myself later. Aboard the Mary. Pirates, the White Hunter is here, are you ready to accept death? Smoker's deafening roar came from the distance. Zoro stood on the observation deck and saw a jet approaching at high speed, and hurriedly said to the bottom. The smoke man is chasing me alone. From the air. Nami was commanding Usopp. Hearing this, he looked panicked. What a haunting marine. Why is marine so annoying? You liberated my hometown and didn't do anything bad. It pisses me off so much. 
Shi Kong frowned, jumped onto the stern of the boat, and said. If it's on the sea, I should have something to do. It's better for me to cut off the queen. You put down the sails. Great. Such Chi Kong is so great. Times two. Nami and Usopp felt relieved when they saw Chi Kong in a serious state. Chi Kong commands the Murkrows. Dark Crow, release the smoke. With a, husky, sound, a thick black smoke instantly completely enveloped the melee, covering the sky and the sun. Zoro. Luffy. Come here. Chi Kong took out a scroll, jumped into the water, bit his finger and shouted. Psychic art. Blood pact channeling, a kind of time and space ninjutsu that masters like to use. After signing a blood pact with a creature, you can summon the creatures in your blood pact to fight together. The blood contract psychic beast Chi Kong chose was Mumu, which was the second psychic beast besides Dark Crow. As the curse seal spread, there was a, bang, sound, and a sea beast suddenly appeared near the melee. Mu, Mumo was also confused. He was fishing just now. Why did he appear here? Chi Kong felt that most of the chakra was drained out in an instant, and he couldn't help but sigh, and then said to Momo. My good friend, do me a favor. I'll feed you later. Are you okay? Chi Kong pointed to Zoro and Luffy behind. As soon as Luffy saw Mumu, he shouted excitedly, as our meet here. Mumu suddenly broke into sweat when he heard Luffy's words and nodded crazily at Chi Kong. Great, the boatman is here. Momo, we are friends from now on, we can't eat it. Luffy. Chi Kong calculated the chakra and began to form seals with his hands. Fire-style ashes burning, he spit out a pile of dust from his mouth directly above the smoke. The two were similar, but they were essentially different things. These dusts are converted from the fire attribute chakra and will adhere to the surface of the enemy's body like maggots attached to bones. Just a trace of sparks can cause severe burns to the enemy. This is a great gift for smoker. After arranging everything, Chi Kong said, the explosion is the signal to retreat. After saying that, he appeared in the sea in a flash, with Sharingan fully opened, and two water avatars appeared quietly. At this time, smoker also arrived. He was floating in the air, looking down at the place shrouded in black mist, and shouted. The straw hats are playing tricks, do you think this trick will work on me? I am the ancestor of smoke. Smoker in the air closed his eyes and felt it. I found you. He, Jet, turned around and rushed into the fog. After rushing into the black mist, Smoker instantly felt something was wrong. This smells a little weird. Bah, bah, bah. What happened? Smoker exclaimed. Boom. The cigar in Smoker's mouth instantly ignited the ash accumulation, and a big explosion occurred high in the sky of the melee. Slip away, friends. Ha ha ha. Luffy shouted. Mumu pulled the Mary out of the smoke, and drove quickly into the distance. So hot. Damn the straw hats. Damn Arida. Unfortunately, Smoker reacted at the critical moment and rushed to the sky immediately, otherwise it would be difficult not to be seriously injured. He just wanted to give chase. At this time, a voice that made him despair came. People with devil fruit abilities should be afraid of seawater, right? Water-style water tooth bomb. As the smoke cleared, nine water spouts appeared in a triangular arrangement on the sea. The water spouts were large and small, attacking the Smoker in the middle from different directions, blocking all escape routes. You can actually control the seawater. Chapter 44 Escape. Smoker looked up and down, left and right, Baba's water spouts, and was instantly stunned. How to hide this? Shave. No, there is no leverage point. Injection. Too slow. Smoker's brain was spinning rapidly as he looked at Shuya getting closer and closer. Spin. Yes. Spin. I saw the smoker spraying out a lot of smoke. The smoke quickly gathered around, and with smoker's control, the white smoke rotated at high speed, and beads of sweat broke out on smoker's forehead. Can you make it? White rope big tornado. Zoro saw this move and called him an expert. The high-speed rotating smoke enveloped smoker and offset most of the incoming water bullets. In an instant, sea water splashed everywhere, more or less splashing onto smoker's body. Smoker felt like his body was being invaded by something. Knowing that he couldn't fight anymore, he opened a hole and turned into a jet to escape towards the warship. Chi Kong watched smoker escape like a startled bird, touched his bald head, and breathed a sigh of relief. After successive battles, his chakra could no longer hold on. If Smoker still wants to fight, he can only escape by diving. Smoker is really strong, but fighting him is not fruitless. The, shaving, of Marine Sixth Form has been successfully copied by him. Chi Kong discovered that there seemed to be no barrier between the power-generating method of, shaving, and the, blinking technique. As long as they were integrated, his explosive movement speed should be able to come and go without a trace. When he thought of this, Chi Kong felt relieved. Smoker returned to the warship, panting and a little scared. Colonel Smoker, are you okay? Smoker gritted his teeth and said, damn straw hats, they look down on you. Smoker made a report to his superiors and gave the straw hat a score. At this time, a messenger came over with a telephone bug. Colonel Smoker, the information about the straw hats has been reported, and the headquarters said that the bounty will be issued soon. It's just. Stop whining and say it. Caving immediately Kaido. They said there was a reward for Tibang Arida. They felt there was a big difference between the two and asked what to do. Smoker frowned. He always felt that. Alida was a little strange, and when he was fighting just now, he saw that the figure in the fog was obviously very thin. However, thinking of the strange fruit ability of, Al Rita, he still ordered. 
Report it truthfully. Update photos and abilities. Note that the ability is weird. Special note that it can control sea water. Yes. He lit a new cigar and blew out a puff of smoke. You will definitely go to the Grand Line, right? I'll be waiting for you in Rog Town. I will arrest you all next time. As Chi Kong returned and Smoker gave up the pursuit, everyone on the melee breathed a sigh of relief. Awesome. We managed to escape. Woohoo. Yusop and Nami hugged each other and cried, looking like they were on the wrong boat. Nami, open a bottle of wine. Zoro waved his hand. Because he left in a hurry, he didn't bring any wine with him, so he had to pay for some. He kept thinking about the domineering Chi Kong once said, and his head hurt just thinking about it. He was upset again and encountered an enemy that he couldn't kill with a knife. After hearing Zoro's words, Nami immediately became a money fan. Makoto 50,000 belly. At this time, Usopp didn't understand the routine yet, and looked confused on the side, as if saying, what does this mean? Zoro took out five baileys and handed them to Nami, complaining, why do I feel that the price of drinks has become more expensive? Nami said as he took the key and opened the canteen in the warehouse. Why is it so expensive? You should think about whether you worked hard to make money during my absence. This is the specialty orange wine of Kokoyasi village, which has been stored for 10 years in Velmir. I wouldn't sell it if I didn't give it to you. After hearing this, Zoro closed his mouth. Nami walked into the canteen, looked at the full display of supplies, and smiled. When he asked Uncle Aegean to plant orange trees on Meili, he asked them to help stock the canteen and even installed a locked refrigerator. She is now penniless and has to start saving a small treasury all over again. Earning money from fools is undoubtedly the fastest way. When Nami was getting the wine, an outstretched arm reached in. Shortly after, Usopp watched Nami flying out with a bruised nose and swollen face, and swallowed. For the first time, he met a pirate who took his business to a pirate ship. Aren't we partners? Why do we still charge? Nami threw the wine to Zoro and explained coldly. Everything in the canteen is my private property. You also have your own pirate dividends and public funds. You can buy whatever you want when you land on the island. Nami pointed at Luffy. If you are like this idiot captain and want to get something for nothing, this is what you will end up with. At this time, Chi Kang's shouts echoed through Meili. Yo ho! A fishing guy will never be in the air force. Dumb. Dumb. The dark crow called several times. There was a splash of water, which instantly attracted the attention of Luffy and Usopp. A slimy fish was lifted up, and then a special fragrance spread out. What kind of fish is this? It's so strange. Usopp and Luffy rarely knew each other this time. Chi Kong didn't know it either, but the quality was about 0.3 inches forced, which showed that there was something about this fish. However, this slimy fish is ugly and not as cute as Xiaowen. Moo. At this time, Momo suddenly stopped pulling the boat and turned around to look at Chi Kong with a flattering look. Seeing this, Chi Kong almost forgot about the wage earner Mumu. I'll give it to you. Go back by yourself after eating. From now on, you can stay near Coco West Village. I'll call you if you need me. He couldn't help but nod his head, Big Brother has been wiped out, no matter who he messes with. Just when Chi Kong was about to throw it to Momo, a slender jade hand grabbed Chi Kong. Can you sell me this fish? I'll pay for the dinner for the next few days. Including the food you promised Mumu. It was Nami who held Kai Kong back. So generous. It's a scam. Chi Kong hadn't spoken yet, but Luffy nodded and said, Okay. Then I'll sell it to you. Chi Kang's head was full of black lines. After thinking about it, I decided to give it to Nami as a boarding gift. Mu, do you remember Nami? Build a good relationship and protect Kokoyashi. This rich woman will benefit from you. After saying that, Chi Kong threw the fish to Nami. Nami took the fish, dipped it in some mucus, licked it, and said with a smile. I know all the valuable things in the East China Sea. This should be the legendary honey fish. It is said that its body can produce a special kind of sugar, which is a high-end condiment that has a price but no market. As she spoke, her eyes turned into money shapes. The purpose of our trip happens to be the restaurant. Selling this thing to them will definitely make a lot of money. Usopp and Luffy were instantly interested after hearing this. Usopp. Let's go fishing too. Okay. Let me tell you, Captain Usopp is a big whale when he takes action. So, there were three fishing guys on the boat. On this day, a strange bird came into the sky, and the dark crow instantly felt threatened. Quack. Dumb. Dumb. The black crow and the newspaper delivery seagull looked at each other and cherished each other. Suddenly the dark crow attacked with a wing, the news gull circled at high speed, and used a noise attack. Shao hey. Don't attack the newspaper bird. Apologize. Nami's voice came from below, very serious. These seagulls are all conscious. If anyone hurts a seagull, he will probably be blacklisted, and no seagull will fly near you to deliver newspapers again. This is one of the few recreational activities on the sea. This this. Nami bought the newspaper and shouted in a trembling voice. New pirate bounty order in the East China Sea. You all come over and take a look. We are being rewarded. She looked desperate at this time, why did she also have a bounty? Chapter 45 Reward Order, Become Famous. Secure Asset Portal. Your trusted source for secure and informative digital assets. Register with your real phone number and get bonus just for registering. Try for free. Coco West Village. At this time, Nojiko was repairing the Orange Grove. Nuauchi Gao, it's not good. Aegean arrived in a hurry 
holding several reward orders in his hand. Nokigao put down the tools in his hands and asked hurriedly, What's wrong with Uncle Ajian? Is Marine here again? Ajian shook his head and handed her the reward order, breathing heavily. Nami's bounty. Why is she also under a bounty? What did she do? Little thieving cat Nami. Bounty of five million baileys, grandmaster navigation, and stealing. Combat strength unknown. Silla village. Housekeeper Mei Li knocked on Kaya's door. Miss. There is news about Yusop. Here it comes. Mei Li. What's the news? Kaya opened the gate of opening with a look of joy. As the bounty so high for the first time. It's really Usopp. All of Usopp's boasts are slowly coming true. Kaya then smiled and said to Meili, Tell Onion and the others the news secretly, and don't let other villagers know. Sniper, Usopp. The bounty is 7 million baileys. Grandmaster shot, cooperated to kill Marine Colonel, Mouse, and attacked and wounded Marine Headquarters Colonel, Smoker. Shimotsuki Village. Koshiro sweated on his forehead and kept comforting the villagers who came to ask questions. You can bring your children to learn swordsmanship, but swordsmanship cannot be achieved overnight. After he sent away a student, Koshiro's glasses reflected white light, looked at the reward order and murmured. It seems that you have chosen your own path to fame. Zoro. Pirate hunter, Roronoa Zoro. Bounty of 20 million baileys. A three-sword swordsman, he was a former pirate hunter and later joined the Straw Hat Pirates. He has terrifying fighting power and has never been defeated in his career. East China Sea, Windmill Village. A large crowd of villagers gathered around the Makino Bar. Look, everyone, our Luffy is here. This is, Luffy's reward order. That number. You're kidding me. There is something extraordinary in our village. Village chief. I told you a long time ago, that B asterisk 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 D will bring trouble to the village sooner or later. The old village chief was furious. But Luffy, you're smiling so happily. There was a lot of noise in the tavern, and finally everyone raised their glasses in unison. For Luffy. Cheers. Ha ha ha. Straw hat Luffy. The bounty is 25 million baileys. He has defeated Arida, Buggy the Clown, Beiji Crow, Fishman Aaron and other big pirates, and his combat power is monster level. An unknown island. A beautiful lady with long legs and smooth body. She has long black hair. She looked at Luffy's reward order and made a numbing voice. The straw hats. Your death is coming. Let me tell you who is the most beautiful woman in this sea. Suddenly, the big stick in her hand fell to the ground. This, what is this? What exactly is going on? Suddenly she roared loudly, with disbelief in her eyes. As the reward order in his hand turned into fragments flying all over the sky. It must be the guy with the bird's head. Damn it. I'm going to kill you. Cool D. Kai Kong. Trickster Enchantress Arida. The bounty is 24 million baileys. She was the former captain of the Arida Pirates and later joined the Straw Hats. He once killed Colonel Rat of the 16th branch and defeated Colonel Smoker of the main branch. Special note. Perverted by nature, murderous, extremely strong in combat and with strange abilities, suspected of being a devil fruit user, able to control water, fire, wind and other abilities. Shieldstown. Lipa was taking Kebby to eat, and next to her was the submissive Balloon. They were going to head to the Marine headquarters after having their last meal at Liga's place. Kirby, it's Zoro's brother's picture, but what do the numbers mean? At a young age, Lija didn't quite understand the meaning of the bounty order. Kevi anxiously took the newspaper and looked at the familiar faces. They are famous. Lieutenant Colonel, the Straw Hat Pirates are established. Kevi burst into tears looking at a group of friends struggling for their dreams. However, when he saw Arida, Kevi's head was full of black lines. Damn Chi Kong, what are you doing? Lipa leaned her head over and laughed loudly. Goodbye, we are enemies, Kevi. Do you have the confidence to catch them? These are a group of extremely vicious pirates. Kirby nodded heavily. Um, at this time, Lija said, I want to cut off Brother Zoro and collect it. These words made the lieutenant colonel have a dark look on his face. Don't think of pirates as heroes. Rika, Lija stuck out her tongue angrily and slammed a glass of water next to Balumb. Balumber, who was on the side, bit his lip and looked a little embarrassed to face Liga. Kirby patted Balumb on the shoulder. Monka's matter has probably come to light. Let's be a righteous marine together from now on. Bell Mabel. On board the Golden Melly, Usopp looked at his bounty, feeling proud and fearful at the same time. Usopp wanted to say, everything you said is true, but why do I feel that it is more exaggerated than bragging? I just touched a trace of blood. Zoro looked at his bounty and smiled crookedly. Notoriety is also famous. I will still let Roronoa Zoro's name ring through the heavens for her to hear. Luffy looked at his bounty order and smiled the same as in the photo. Ha ha, I finally have my own reward order. Ace, have you seen it? Then, Everyone fell into a long silence as they looked at Chi Kang's reward order. This is a coquettish, ugly and fat woman. The photo is also the clearest and most enchanting. It is obviously staged. Chi Kong looked at the reward order and smiled. Don't feel inferior, Alita. I will make your beauty and name resound throughout the sky. Zoro. Mom sells batches. What a pervert. Suddenly, Nami tore his reward order into pieces in an instant. I want to report. I want to report. Why do I also have a reward order? I'm just a navigator. Nami collapsed on the ground, as if her life was dark. I have no ability to protect myself at all. What can I do? 
As she spoke, she secretly looked at everyone. Coming. Nami has more tricks than the sea root of the Grand Line. Everyone's eyes look at their noses, and their noses look at their hearts. Little inventor Yusuf put his hands on his hips and said proudly. If someone can give me two pounds of dried meat, I can invent a weapon for her. Some people spoke, but others couldn't sit still. The supplies were all at Nami's, and they had to spend money to buy them. Chi Kong put away his fishing rod and took out two talisman papers from the experiment. Nami, do you want to accept the fresh detonating charm? One piece is 100,000 belly, friendly price. Zoro and Luffy looked at each other, they didn't seem to have any special skills. Zoro narrowed his eyes and said, One million baileys, cut wherever you point. In addition to Luffy, you can also order me once. Zoro chose to start his old profession in order to drink. Luffy heard this. Me too. I only want 1,000 pieces of meat. But I can only help you fight. At this time, Nami showed a cunning and charming villain smile. Got it. Chapter 46 Varati. Secure Asset Portal. Your trusted source for secure and informative digital assets. Register with your real phone number and get bonus just for registering. Try for free. That island is really interesting. There are so many magical animals. Isn't it a dark crow? Dumb. 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 Chi Kong and Dark Crow interacted in a friendly manner. After experiencing the last island full of rare animals, Dark Crow made many friends. Of course, most of them are defeated. As a result, Dark Crow learned a new skill, Night Demon, which is a skill that creates phantoms and a sense of oppression in the dark to scare opponents. It is very effective for timid guys, but if you are not timid, it is of no use. Nami sighed. It's a pity that the treasure is fake. Alas, sure enough, pirate treasures don't exist, right? In stark contrast to Nami, Luffy was extremely excited. Ha ha ha, it doesn't matter what the treasure is. Adventure is the greatest fun. Isn't it Usopp? Usopp pinched his nose and looked proud. That's right, I feel like I'm one step closer to being a big pirate. Zoro missed the adventure because he slept, but it didn't matter to him anyway. At this time, he saw a strange ship appearing in front of him and reminded, it seems that we have arrived at our destination, Luffy. So everyone came to the bow of the ship. Wow, so cool, what a big boat. Is this a restaurant on the sea? Such a big fish head with chopped pepper. Very good, this is it, the buyer of the honey fish is here. When everyone stood at the bow of the ship, what they saw was a small island that looked like a huge fish head. It was actually a giant ship used as a restaurant, see restaurant Barati. Just as Chi Kong and others were slowly approaching, a warship appeared at the birth of Barati. Yusuf shouted anxiously, hey, everyone, Marine, Marine is here. Ah, should we avoid it? Nami also asked worriedly. But, meat, chef, here I come, rubber bazooka. Oops, it's off. Bang. With a sound, Luffy smashed into Barati's side. At this time, all the crew members were stunned. Are you an idiot? Times four. Chi Kong scratched his bald head and asked a rather embarrassing and helpless question. If he asks us to compensate him, who will pay for him? Then, everyone looked at Nami. Chi Kong and others were each carrying a bag. As soon as they walked into the restaurant, they saw Chong Wei playing. Oh no. I saw a chef beating a customer. And if you look closely, this customer seems to be a marine. It seems the time has come just right. Usopp was trembling all over. Hey, hey, is this really a restaurant? Nami walked at the back, holding a fish bucket in his hand, and said firmly. Don't be afraid, Usopp. We have Chi Kong and Zoro here, let's sell the fish first. This is no mention of Luffy. Chi Kong and Zoro looked at each other, found a seat and sat down. If there's any good wine here, let's have a few bottles. Waiter takes your order. Then, I saw a guy wearing a straw hat and a waiter's apron walking over with a menu while picking his nose. Luffy, Luffy, Usopp exclaimed, and everyone else's eyes widened. How did you become a waiter? Times three, everyone except Chi Kong was dumbfounded. Chi Kong couldn't help but tease. Hey, from pirate to waiter, your role changes very quickly, Wang Lufei. Wang Lufei sighed, I accidentally smashed their boat because I had no money, so the chef uncle asked me to work for a year to pay off the debt. After Luffy finished speaking, he focused his attention on Nami. No money required. We are ordering food. Nami picked up the menu and turned a deaf ear, thinking only about how to sell the fish without saving Luffy. Luffy instantly fainted and flopped down on the table. How can this be? Then how do I get to the Grand Line? Chi Kong glanced at Luffy who had turned into mud, and reminded. I said, waiter Luffy. Shouldn't you start serving tea and pouring water? Where's the water? I don't want it. Why are you eating here while I have to work? Luffy sat there confidently. At this time, a cripple with a beard and a beard appeared. This was Barati's boss, Zapu, the legendary guy who successfully returned from the Grand Route. Zapu kicked Luffy away and shouted. I asked you to work as a waiter to pay back the money, what are you doing? B asterisk 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 D. Why don't you go to work for me? Chi Kong and Zoro looked at the guy who attacked Luffy, thought for a moment, and did not take action. It's better to pretend not to know him, since it's impossible to save him anyway. Just like that, Luffy was gone. Instead, the perverted Sanji came to receive everyone. This was their first contact with Sanji. Beautiful lady, what would you like to eat? I want wine and meatballs. This is Zoro. Do you have the fish head with chopped pepper? Add some noodles. This is Chi Kong. 
I want to eat grilled chicken. This is Usopp. Unfortunately, Sanji never looked at these people. Nami sighed. Looking at the price, she knew that these poor people couldn't afford it. She closed the menu and said. They didn't want anything they ordered and gave me four of the cheapest combos of red wine steak and mushroom soup. The three of them drank water to hide their embarrassment. Sanji was also stunned, but still recorded the order. Okay. At this time, Nami showed a sad face and a delicate look. Here it comes. Here it comes. The routine is here. Nami used a tenderness offensive and looked at Sanji pitifully. These food are too expensive. I'm afraid I don't have enough baileys. Can you give me a preferential price? I won't be full. Sanji fell directly into the beauty trap, his eyes turned into hearts, his heart was beating fast, and at this moment he had no brain at all. Beautiful lady, I'll pay for your food. Please order whatever you want. After saying that, he knelt down and kissed the back of Nami's hand, a standard way to flirt with girls. Routine. This is Nami's routine. Is there such a good thing? Free food. The three of them watched all of this in silence, while Chi Kang's eyes rolled. While everyone was ordering food, a vicious voice came. Damn it. I'm going to report it to the headquarters. I'm going to blow this place up. There's actually a chef beating up the customers. You don't want to open anymore. This is the guy who was beaten just now, and he seems to have just come to his senses. Dissatisfied with Sanji's loss of face when he served the wrong red wine, he threw bugs into the food. When he was discovered, he flipped the table in anger, and was beaten up, captain of the Marine Corps, Hobodi. Because there is a piece of finger tiger on his fist, he is also called Iron Fist, Hobodi. This title made Garp cry when he saw it. When Sanji heard that he was going to ruin the old man's hard work, he became angry and was about to shake Hobodi. At this time, a sailor ran in, Captain Hobodi, the leader of the Creek Pirates has escaped. This statement made Hobodi panic. What? That's the right-hand man of the strongest pirate group in the East China Sea. You haven't eaten for three days, do you still have the strength? Zoro sneered at this and just gave a cold, hum, that's it. Bang. There was a flintlock gunshot, and the marine who reported this turned his eyes white and fell down. As marine fell, a man with a haggard face appeared behind him. This is Ghost Man, Ah Jin, who has been given multiple identities by Haini, a bounty of 12 million. Chapter 47 Akin, Hungry Patty. Agent passed Hobudi and walked to the empty seat step by step. Hey, is this a western restaurant? Everything is fine, let's have some food. Facing this pirate who said, I am a bad guy, on his face, the whole audience was silent. But soon, a burly chef walked over with a charming and disgusting villain smile on his face. Stupid guest, Patty is at your service. Did you bring any money? Crack, the flintlock gun in Arkin's hand was pressed against Patty's head. I have no money, can I pay with bullets? Here it comes, here it comes, the predator of the jungle is here. Sanji looked at Ajin and shook his head, with unknown pity in his eyes. Patty, who was pointed at a gun, looked horribly black. That means you have no money. If you don't have money, you are not a guest. Bang. The dignified pirate, ghost man akin, who had a bounty of 12 million, was knocked down with a punch, and even the tables and chairs were blown to pieces. This power is terrifying. Patty spit out a mouthful of phlegm and punched and kicked him again. No money. Not even leftovers. This scene made people in the restaurant roar with applause. Many of them came here because they wanted to watch the classic scene of the chef fighting pirates. Only one person was silent, that was Sanji, who heard the sound of his stomach growling. He lit a cigarette and turned to Nami and said, I'm sorry, ma'am, I'm going to do my business first. Nami nodded. Okay, okay, thank you. After dealing with the pirates, Chef Patty turned around magnificently and made a disgusting skirt-raising ceremony in front of everyone. Okay everyone, please continue to eat. This perverted appearance made Chi Kang's eyes light up, he is a fellow man. Ahem. Ah Jin, who was roughly thrown out of the restaurant, kept coughing and felt sad in his heart. Boom. At this time, a plate of seafood fried rice and a glass of water were placed in front of Jin. It was Sanji who came. Eat it. This is the first time in my life that I have eaten such delicious food. Ah Jin shed tears of emotion. Ooh, I'm so ashamed, so ashamed. I thought I was going to die. Seeing this, Sanji smiled. Tears mixed with food, this is indeed a hungry person. Sanji leaned against the wall, smoking a cigarette and looking at the sky. He knows the feeling of hunger best, and cooking for hungry people is one of his life creeds. At this time, above the two of them, Wang Lufei was lying on the window, haha, laughing. Discovered a good cook. Wang Luffy jumped out and shouted, I am Monkey D. Luffy, and I am the man who wants to be one piece. After introducing himself, Luffy looked at Sanji. Hey, chef, what's your name? I think you're pretty good. Come be my partner. Our pirate group lacks a good chef. So you are a pirate. I am Sanji, the sous chef here. I advise you to give up. I have a reason to work here. Sanji held a cigarette in his mouth and refused Luffy's invitation without hesitation. Luffy. Why? I refuse. Sanji. Wa, what do you mean? Luffy. I refuse your rejection. Sanji. Don't you understand people? This kind of scene that steals people's attention, Zoro calls him an expert. However, although the invitation failed, the three of them soon talked about the sea, dreams and the great sea route, and their relationship quickly became much closer. 
This scene was seen by Zapu on the third floor, and he also saw that Sanji yearned for the sea. Soon after, Ajin left, warning Luffy never to go to the Grand Line before leaving. However, these words made Luffy even more excited. In this way for several days, Luffy worked in the store and became very familiar with the chefs. Zapu also saw clearly Luffy's character and destructive ability while getting along with him. Nami also relied on her beauty to trick Sanji into eating and drinking. This scene made Chi Kong extremely jealous. It's just that Luffy has been working to pay off his debts, and knowing everyone's relationship, Nami's honey fish has never taken action. On this day, a thick fog appeared on the unpredictable sea, which contained boundless murderous intent. Chi Kong and others came to Barati to eat together again, which was their daily routine. Damn it, you actually eat delicious food behind my back. Luffy is very dissatisfied, he has only eaten half full in the kitchen. I have found a good cook, and I must invite him on board. It may take a few days. Luffy said something to Sanji, pulled over a plate of food and started to eat. While eating, he shouted. Waiter, keep serving the meat, however. Oh, aren't you a waiter? What are you doing here? I won't be a pirate. The old man can't live without me. Sanji kicked Luffy away with a flying kick, and then changed his face. Beautiful Ms. Nami, is the food delicious? When he saw Chi Kang's appearance, he was stunned. Hey, who is this special lady? Where is that bald fisherman? Hearing this, Nami fell into silence, and she didn't know what Chi Kong was going to do. At this time, Chi Kong used the SX trick to transform into Arida, looking like he was enjoying it. Currently, if you kick him away, I'll buy you a drink, Zoro said with a look of disgust but helplessness. Sanji looked disgusted, I paid for all your expenses these days, okay. Chi Kong stood up, smiled and prepared to give Sanji some love. He turned around in circles, hugging Sanji for a while, and a rough and charming voice came out. Wow, little Sanji, do you want to come to our boat? My sister can bring you countless happiness. After saying that, Chi Kong also gave him a wink. At this scene, Sanji swallowed a sip, and the cigarette in his mouth fell unconsciously, and he froze in place. It could be seen from the trembling, lifting and lowering of his right foot that he was in great pain. Finally he rolled his eyes and his mind went blank. This is chivalry Sanji, the final stubbornness. At the same time, several guests at the next table vomited. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, it's okay if you don't come to this restaurant. My eyes, I'm not alive anymore. Water, water, I'm going to get a needle eye. Forget it about being ugly and fat. Can you stop being so annoying? After vomiting, some male customers ran out like crazy. Anyone who can still sit here is a ruthless person. Chi Kong completed the clearing in an instant. At this time, a group of chefs surrounded him with dark faces, holding swords, guns and sticks in their hands. Cutting off someone's money is like killing one's parents. Zoro, Nami and Usopp quickly changed tables, one was Luffy and the other was Kai Kong. They couldn't afford to lose this person. Chi Kong pointed at the villain chefs who gathered around him and said dissatisfiedly. What do you mean? You can accept the fat chef's show, but you can't accept the fat customer. You are discriminating. I am God. The handsome Patty took out 100,000 baileys, slammed it on the table, raised his eyebrows and said. Sister, although I like you very much, they are not good at aesthetics. Take the money and wait outside first. Patty pointed to the other cooks. I will pick you up after communicating with my brothers. Then go to my room to talk. It's been a long time since I met such a decent girl. After saying that, the chefs immediately made a mess. Chi Kong was also stunned. What's the meaning? Is this appropriate? Don't think I don't understand. This thing seems to be f asterisk 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 get up. Lousy just wants to clear things up and give Sanji some more love. Chapter 48 Creek Attack Secure Asset Portal, your trusted source for secure and informative digital assets. Register with your real phone number and get bonus just for registering. Try for free. While Chi Kong was stunned, Nami put Bailey away and said. That's easy to say. This is my sister. I agreed on her behalf. It just so happens that I have a project that I want to discuss with Sanji. With that said, Nami picked up the bucket, and regardless of Chi Kang's reaction, she hugged Sanji who rolled his eyes and walked towards the kitchen. Zoro and Usopp almost fainted from laughter while watching the show. At this time, Bharati's boss Zapu limped over and stopped the nosebleed idiot Sanji and the demon Nami. Go be a pirate, Sanji. Go see the vastness of the world, you are no longer needed here. Hearing this, Sanji came back to his senses instantly and looked at the old man full of confusion and anger. Old man, why? Zapu said expressionlessly. Go away if I tell you to, I won't be too relaxed without you. Luffy suddenly appeared, patted Sanji on the shoulder and said, Look, your old man has agreed. I will give you this fish, and you can go out to sea with me and become a pirate, okay? This fish, Nami, who was carrying the bucket, had a dark face. Boom. Luffy collapsed to the ground. Nami knows that if she doesn't take action, this guy will really give it away. This is her private asset. Bang. A chef who had been thrown out of the window by Patty rushed in, full of panic. Something bad has happened. The Creek Pirates are here. This howl made the restaurant instantly quiet. Everyone ran outside. If Crick is coming, Hawkeye should be coming, right? Chi Kong quietly released the transformation technique, looked at Zoro, and thought to himself, don't die. Creek's vehicle, the Dreadnought Saber, was huge. 
It is a huge sailing ship with three decks. The bow is in the shape of a panther. The skull on the flag has an hourglass on either side, which represents the captured prey, the deadline for death, and also represents, sooner or later you will surrender to me, but it's a matter of time. What a big ship. Has Jin repaid you for his kindness? Luffy looked excited. Sanji shook his head and felt that it didn't seem like it. Didn't you notice? That ship is too dilapidated, isn't it? Did we encounter some natural disaster on the Grand Line? This is not like the destruction caused by one person. When Chi Kong heard this, he wanted to say, Brother, you were right. As soon as Creek left the novice village, he encountered a big boss. Soon after, amidst the commotion, Creek came to Barati with the support of a kin. At this time, his state is, he can turn into hero fragments with just one touch. But Creek knelt down and begged for some leftovers with snot and tears. Crick's begging words were rejected by the chefs, who even wanted to call the police. Only our Sanji still couldn't bear to see others go hungry and silently served a big bowl of rice. When everyone was criticizing, Chi Kong said to the two weaklings beside him. Hey, Nami, Usopp, don't stay too far away from me. He touched his bald head and stuffed the dark crow on Nami's head. Chi Kong is so reliable in his serious state. Nami and Usopp cried in unison, hugging each other. So it's time for everyone to eat and drink. Now it's time to watch a show. Even the food of other guests was brought over by Chi Kong. After all, food cannot be wasted. Sorry to trouble you, little brother. With the Crick who Tun Hess, the cook spoke of the Crick's horror. Despicable and shameless, unscrupulous and adaptable. Boom. Creek punched his savior, Sanji, away. Akin immediately objected. Captain. We agreed. You won't attack the restaurant. Besides, that man is our savior. Creek smiled despicably, pinched Agent's arm, cursed a few more words, and then said arrogantly to the chef in the restaurant. This ship is nice. I want it. Patty and other chefs raised their weapons in dissatisfaction and shouted, Did you see it? Sanji. Get out of here when you're full. You're not welcome here. Crick paid no attention to these ants, and then threatened. You chefs are preparing food for a hundred people. Someone is already starving to death, go quickly. Impossible. We are not Sanji. The chefs responded with their swords. Everyone was a combat chef and instantly entered a state of combat. I won't give it to you this time no matter what. Only Sanji stood up shakily and wanted to walk to the kitchen again. This Sanji really has a brain problem. Seeing this, Nami and Yusuke couldn't help complaining. This seems to be an obsession. I kind of admire this guy. Zoro crossed his arms and praised in a rare moment. Luffy on the side nodded and said in a hurry. Yes, I think he is a very good cook. So I want to get him on board. Patty and the other chefs questioned Sanji over and over again, but Sanji remained unmoved and just explained that he would cook for them when they were hungry. At this time, Patty made a sneak attack and knocked down Sanji with one punch. He turned around and picked up the rocket launcher, turned around and took it out, and shot Creek. After a burst of smoke, Creek walked out unscathed. It turns out that Creek was wearing a golden holy garment. Creek smiled disdainfully took out several machine guns from his holy clothes, and fired at the crowd. Bullets were everywhere. Fortunately, Chi Kong cleared the scene, otherwise a group of innocent people would also be shot. Water-style water barrier. Chi Kong spat out a burst of water, covering all his friends. Chi Kang's ability makes you feel so secure. Nami took a sip of black tea happily. Her companions were watching the show so relaxedly, and she felt much calmer at this time. As the sound of strafing suddenly stopped, the chef lying on the ground proved with actual facts what Creek, the overlord of the East China Sea, was. Interesting guy. What's your name? Come and be my crew member. Creek extended an invitation to Chi Kong with great interest. Chi Kong said calmly, Just a loser of the Grand Line, you don't deserve it. My captain is a hundred times better than you. Hearing Chi Kang's words, Crick was furious, as if he had been stabbed in a sore spot. You wanna die. Creek took out Thanos' glove and punched him. Seeing that he was about to hit, Chi Kong smiled slightly. Rubber pistol. At this time, an arm suddenly shot out from behind Chi Kong, hitting Creek's unprotected face first. Don't attack my friends again. Creek was directly blasted away by Luffy, smashing into a pile of tables, chairs and benches. Captain. Ah Jin was dumbfounded. Just now he was still crying because of the guilt in the restaurant, but now his face turned into shock. Luffy did not stop, and continued to attack with anger, sawdust flying, and shouted shamelessly. You are not allowed to hit my partner. You are not allowed to destroy this restaurant, I will beat you away. At this time, Zippu arrived late. When he saw this scene, he almost dropped the food for 100 people he was carrying. Isn't it my turn to show off? Did I get the wrong script? So, he limped up to the ghost man agent, for fear that he would not have a chance to appear. He quickly threw down the food and said quickly. Food for 100 people, get out of here immediately. Chapter 49 Mahawk. Secure Asset Portal, your trusted source for secure and informative digital assets. Register with your real phone number and get bonus just for registering. Try for free. The ghost man agent reluctantly took back his arm and looked at the guy in front of him. Are you the boss? He was so happy that he took out his weapon and knocked down Zapu with a few sticks. Then he threatened everyone. You all stop. Otherwise I will kill him. Old man. Sanji shouted, veins popping out. The restaurant fell into an eerie silence, and Luffy returned to his seat with sweat on his forehead. 
How despicable. You actually threatened the old man. Jin was unmoved by Luffy's words. He was a pirate to begin with, so it was reasonable to do so. He said to the gloomy creek, Captain, the food is here. Let's go. Baron and the others are still waiting for us. Creek glanced at the straw hats and Barati's chef, with neither joy nor sadness on his face. I'll come back later. After that, Creek carried the food and left like Santa Claus. Agent held Zapu hostage and kept retreating. Let him go. Ah Jin. Sanji lit a cigarette, and his face was extremely gloomy at this time. Ah Jin held Zapu hostage and kept retreating, but burst into tears. I'm sorry, my benefactor. This is the only way to save you. You don't understand the captain's terror at all. I will persuade him to give up here. Please, give me another chance. Facing the conflicted agent, Sanji gritted his teeth, and everyone could only follow Akin and keep moving. At this moment, Luffy suddenly thought of something. Sanji, I'll help you get the old man back. Can you be the chef of our pirate group? Zoro, who was drinking, tilted his head. Why are these words so familiar? How can you save me? Sanji asked. Luffy pointed to the back and said, Chi Kong can do it. Sanji followed his gaze and twitched when he saw everyone still eating desserts. Is that the bald guy? Luffy nodded and explained. He is my partner and a ninja. There will definitely be no problem if he takes action. Okay, as long as you save the old man, I can consider your proposal. Luffy laughed loudly when he heard this. Great, I have a chef. The bird playing Nami was stunned after hearing Sanji's words. Consider, why do these words sound so familiar? Isn't this his trick to fool Luffy? Luffy can only fool her. When Nami was about to go crazy, a rough arm suppressed Nami. This was the shadow clone that transformed into Arida again. Chi Kong stood up slowly and walked towards the door. Seeing this, Zoro followed. What do you mean? Luffy, do you need us to take action? Outside Barati. Well done. Ah Jin. Came the praising voice of Creek. He returned to Barati and looked at these guys who didn't know whether to live or die. At this time, brush. A ray of light bloomed from the front. The needless saber was cut open like tofu, and many crew members who had just recovered swam ashore, feeling heart palpitations. At this time, Creek's eyes widened. What's going on? What happened? Chi Kong was also attracted by the commotion. He looked outside and realized something instantly. That guy is finally here. He has short black hair, sharp yellow eyes like an eagle, a short beard, a black hat with white fluff on his head, a burgundy patterned shirt, a black windbreaker, white trousers, and black boots. There is a cross hanging on his chest, and the most powerful black sword in the world, Yi, is carried behind his back. Zoro's target when he goes to see is Mahawk, one of the Shichibukai's greatest swordsmen in the world. In the middle of the pointless saber split, Hawkeye appeared in front of everyone in a small boat. When Crick saw it was this god of death, his heart suddenly skipped a beat and his face turned livid. Why on earth are you pestering us? Now you are coming out of the Grand Line to hunt us down. Crick didn't understand how much hatred there was. Hawkeye raised his head slightly, his hat covering his eyes, and said coldly, to pass the time. This is the truth behind the destruction of the Creek fleet. Maybe it's a bit childish. On the sea, the weak are the tools for the strong to make fun of themselves. However, Chi Kong still maintains the reasonable guess that Creek and the others were chased after seeing Hawkeye rowing a boat. At this time, Zoro was shaking with excitement and nervousness. Seeing this, Chi Kong knew who the battlefield now belonged to. He sighed and said, Swordsman Liu Kai, don't die. Zoro's eyes were firm, and he pushed through the crowd step by step, past everyone, and walked to Hawkeye. Luffy, Sanji, let Zoro come first. Nothing is more important than realizing your dream. Chi Kong said again. Sanji didn't realize it and nodded heavily. Chi Kong, do you know who this guy is? Why did Zoro challenge him? Asked Usopp, who was leaning against the window and looking out. Alboro's voice came. Zoro's dream has a lot to do with this person, what do you think? These words made Nami shrink her eyes. Zoro's dream is not to be the world's greatest swordsman. Doesn't that mean that this is, the world's greatest swordsman himself? After hearing this, Usopp's legs kept shaking. At this moment, he felt that becoming a pirate was not the wrong thing to do. Is this world so dangerous? We have just been out to sea for a few days. The great swordsmen have come out. Don't worry, it should be fine, I'm going to get the first aid kit. Nami and Usopp instantly turned into terrified faces. Is this okay? Times two. What a soft sword. Zoro has slowly taken off his turban and entered fighting mode. Three knives. Is it that pirate hunter? Many of the pirates and chefs who were watching recognized Zoro, and Creek also recognized the green-haired devil. In the East China Sea, Zoro is much more famous than Hawkeye. Zoro pulled out three swords and pointed them at Hawkeye. Aren't you bored? Duel with me. Hawkeye looked sideways at Zoro, only glancing at him out of the corner of his eye, looking unconcerned. What is your purpose? Zoro bit Wado Yemen, and the eagle eye's peripheral vision put too much pressure on him. He calmed down and showed a smile full of fighting spirit. The strongest. Facing Zoro's challenge, Hawkeye stood up. The gap between you and me is clear at a glance. Does your courage to challenge me come from your ambition or your ignorance? Zoro said firmly. This is my dream and an agreement with a close friend. After both sides finished pretending, the battle began. Hawkeye looked at Zoro who was full of fighting spirit. Since he drew his sword, as a swordsman, he naturally had no reason to refuse. 
he took out his smallest knife, which was the cross he always wore around his neck. Zoro's eyes darkened. Hey, what do you mean? Look down on me. In response to Zoro's question, Hawkeye calmly said Kaido, I'm sorry, this is the smallest knife I have. Zoro felt even more insulted. There must be a limit to looking down on people. Don't regret it if you die. As soon as he finished speaking, Zoro launched an attack, and the three knives emitted a cold light. Three swordsman style. Demon Slayer. Hawkeye didn't panic at all, he took a step forward and stabbed the knife in his hand. The frog in the well. Let him teach you how vast the world is. Chapter 50 Zoro is defeated and the war begins. Regardless of the battle between Zoro and Hawkeye, it's just father fighting son. Hawkeye swung the knife again, and Zoro was knocked back and fell to the ground. This scene shocked everyone watching the show. Luffy was a little anxious at this time, damn it. Zoro, come on. He endured it very hard, but this is a duel between swordsmen. A battle that costs everything. Luffy wanted to press something, suppressing his restlessness. Chi Kong thought it was probably Johnny and Joseph. Fortunately, they were left in Kokoyasi village by Chi Kong. Otherwise, seeing my eldest brother like this, I might really be tempted to chop off Hawkeye. There was already a picture in his eyes. Opening parenthesis dot. Press press. Just hold us down, Luffy Kun. Otherwise we won't be able to help but kill Hawkeye. It can't be so different. It can't be so far away. Zoro kept denying it. Zoro began to recall the past, the best friend who fell to death. Weak. What are you carrying? Zoro raised his swords and tried to use Tiger Hunt. Hawkeye stepped forward and stabbed Zoro's body in the gap between moves. At this time, Zoro refused to take a step back, his eyes full of confusion. Hawkeye asked in confusion, Why don't you retreat? Do you want to be stabbed through the heart? Zoro's answer was, Who knows? I feel that once I quit, many things, oaths and agreements will be broken. Hawkeye. Isn't that a failure? Zoro smiled and said, So it's better to just die. Zoro's determination finally surprised and recognized Hawkeye. A strong person is not only reflected in strength, but also in will. Boy, tell me your name. Zoro assumed the posture of a secret sword move, and Kaido said, Rorno Azoro. Hawkeye said sternly, I will remember it. It's been a long time since I met a strong person. He drew his black knife. I will send you on your way with the highest etiquette of a swordsman. Zoro. The secret of three sword styles, three thousand worlds. Hawkeye. Flat A. Mystery versus Hawkeye's level A. In a flash of lightning, the two of them changed positions. A wound appeared on Zoro's abdomen and the blood flowed non-stop. Two of the three swords have been broken, and only the word, Wado, that symbolizes his dream remains. Compared with the big boss Hawkeye, Zoro in Novice Village is a bit lower in level. Defeated, putting his old friend's words of peace into the scabbard, he turned around and opened his arms to Hawkeye. Eagle Eye frowned, what does this mean, do you want a hug? What? Zoro smiled. Kaido, the wound on the back is a swordsman's shame. Hawkeye smiled for the first time since his appearance and praised. Well said. Then, he slashed Zoro's chest with a knife. Seeing this, everyone was shocked. The most famous bounty hunter in the East China Sea had no resistance at all. Is this the strength of the Grand Line? The miserable Donghai people don't know Hawkeye. This is very unreasonable. Sanji didn't understand this scene very much. Why? Since you can't complete it, then give up on your dream. It's very simple. This seems to be said to Zoro, but also to himself. Severe pain came. Zoro let go of Hidao Yamanji, and fell backwards, as if his life had disappeared. Zoro. No. Luffy yelled, thinking Zoro was dead. When Zoro was about to enter the sea, the seawater turned into a human shape and caught Zoro steadily. At the same time, Luffy stretched out his arms and rushed towards Hawkeye angrily. The swordsman's battle is over. It's his turn. However, Luffy's attack could not touch Hawkeye at all. After being teased, Hawkeye said. Don't worry. He's still alive. This sentence immediately made Luffy bite his tongue. He looked at Zoro and Chi Kong who appeared at some point. Chi Kong nodded at Luffy. No vital injuries, just superficial injuries. He is indeed a great swordsman. The knife wound on Zoro's chest looked horrific, but it perfectly avoided all vital points. Even if he was taken to the hospital for evaluation, it would still be a superficial injury, and this is nothing more than a medical student. Hawkeye put away the black knife and said his victory speech. I'm waiting for you at the most powerful throne in the world. My name is Mahawk, understand the world. Understand yourself. Become stronger. Roar no Zoro. Hawkeye looked at Luffy again. After a conversation, after learning that Luffy's dream was one piece, Hawkeye looked at Straw Hat and expressed recognition and encouragement to Luffy. At this time, Zoro was also filled with tears and swore to Chi Kong and Luffy. Luffy, Chi Kong, I lost. If I can't even become the world's best swordsman, won't it make things difficult for you? Chi Kong was speechless and said angrily, Can you stop moving, Luchi swordsman? The wound is going to open. However, Zoro ignored Chi Kang's words and shouted loudly while holding up the word, He Dao. I, I won't lose again. I won't lose again before I defeat him. Zoro paused. Do you have any objections? Luffy grinned. Hee hee, I have no objection. Chi Kong rolled his eyes. I believe you, I just hope you won't move. What a great partner. I look forward to meeting you again. Hawkeye praised, turned around and left. 
At this time, the Crazy Creek still wanted to stop Hawkeye, but Hawkeye was also happy today. The boss is very busy and has no time to fight the mobs. Hawkeye swung his sword and splashed large waves before disappearing. Idiot, can't you see the difference in strength? Shwashui mocked from the side. Crick's face turned dark. If he can't beat Hawkeye, he can't beat you. Lousy as Admiral Crick, who are you talking to? With that said, Crick was about to step forward and slap the two of them. I said, don't take action against my friends. Go to hell. Luffy hit Creek with a rocket head hammer. Old man, once I defeat Creek, let Sanji and I go to sea. Luffy shouted to Zep. Zepu readily agreed, meaning to get out quickly, as if he worked for a few more days, Barati would go bankrupt. Sanji. Hey, don't you consider my feelings. You all stop it. Don't you want his life? Ah Jin tightened his grip on Zepu's neck and threatened. But no one paid attention to Ah Jin's words, and he still didn't take action after all this time. No one can see that there is a ghost. Ah Jin found that a group of people actually ignored him. This made his face look gloomy and scary, but he still couldn't make a move. At this time, the water body sensed that the main body was back. Chi Kong is also a little confused now. He just moved to the boat and got a medical kit. How long has it been? The battle here is over. Even the battle platform has been raised. With a sigh, he took the unconscious Zoro back to Baradine and handed him over to two weaklings. Just take care of each other. It's all a little fight outside, just leave it to me. After comforting Zoro, Chi Kong, who transformed into Alboro, exchanged identities with his clone, held up a big stick, and walked out of Barati with great power. At this time, the pirates had invaded the entrance of the restaurant, and the pirates and the cook were fighting. Tell me, little ones, who is the most beautiful woman in this sea? This sharp and rough voice attracted everyone's attention. Looking at Alita's tonnage, everyone felt deep pressure. Where did this stinky woman come from? Uncle Baron is here to meet you. The funny turtle shell man Baron appeared on the scene. After appearing, he started to introduce to Albero. Ugly woman, I am the invincible Mr. Baron. I am an iron arm. I have not shed a drop of blood in the past battles. Against a handsome man like me, you deserve to die. 